and go live here. Hello, YouTube. Hello. Hello. You gonna, you gonna play nice tonight? You gonna play nice? Nah, you've been playing nice so far. Okay, I think we are good. Hello, all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster, and I feel like it's been forever. It's only been five days, but it feels like forever. I miss you all. Thank you for tuning in if you are, um, or if you're watching this after the fact. Um, I am actually, so what I actually did for uh, streams going forward, I want to do this where I have like a little, just a little thing up of, Chase, hello, um, a little thing up of, uh, of notes for me to talk about. If I ever run out of things to talk about during a stream, just so I can uh, refer to that later, but can I make it smaller? Nah, that's small so I can make it. Okay, I'll leave it in this corner for here, but welcome to another Metroid Dread stream. Good to see you, Chase. Um, my son. But uh, this is Metroid Dread Part 3. So last time, let me switch to the stream hood. Um, I want to shout out to like, I know I meant to shout out to like three people who subbed last week. Shout outs to you now. Shout outs to like the two people who subbed in the last like day or so. Thank you. It means the world to me. Um, anyways, last time I took out what? Emmy number three, I think it was. We called them Roberto, the green one that could sneak through the tiny cracks over there. Um... Are you going to be Mommy Samus for Halloween? I am not going to be Mommy Samus for Halloween. I, Chase, I can't tell you what my costume is going to be. You're going to be at the Halloween party. I can't tell you on stream. If you weren't here, I could tell everybody else, but not you. <laughs> um, you'll you'll see, but it is not Mommy Samus, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to pull that off. I mean, maybe if I got a wig. I could do a blonde wig. Um, <laughs> anyways. Anyways. Although, okay, to be honest, if I could like actually cosplay with like the, the Dread suit, that would be sick, but... Anyways, um, Metroid Dread time. So I took out the third Emmy last time. Um, if you're watching these streams, I'm sorry. I'm just going to say spoilers now. I actually almost spoiled it when I tweeted out that I was streaming today. Um, but I just got the Morph Ball. So now that I have the Morph Ball, I should be able to... I'm thinking I want to go back to like Arteria, the first region. And maybe even um, whatever the second one's called. The one I'm in right now, actually. Um, maybe get some more items before heading off to Daron a little bit more and to explore more there. Um, just to catch up on a few items here and there, but I kind of, I'll feel it as I go, but anyways, let's just jump right into it with that amazing, uh, title screen. I love the audio on this. It's so nice. The audio design, I will say, cause like what I've noticed a lot of people saying, all right, I'm at 8%. Okay. Um, that's total amount of items. Let's jump right in. I missed this game. Um, I missed streaming it, but, um, uh, what I've noticed a lot of people saying about this game is that... Oh, I gotta turn the lamp off. What the fuck am I doing? They're saying, they're saying the Metroid Dread experience with without the lights off. As long as you can still kind of see me, we're fine. Um, I've heard a lot of people say about the music in this game. It's not... I feel like there's, from what I've heard, less memorable tracks overall. I, I don't know for sure because I'm still pretty early on. So I'll have to see for myself. I mean, still, the, you got the typical... Yeah, like the... Uh, the spawn and jingle you got the item jingle and everything like that so there's some themes here and there but like um i still feel like i mean from what i've heard is that there's less memorable like actual music and more ambience but i i'm down for the ambience because the audio design in this game is like really really good so i am totally down for what they they went for with this um okay so i'm in guitars right now so the second area what i'm wondering is because let me see I can already see a few areas I can go to with the Morph Ball. I mean, look at this whole area right here, right? What is that, actually? There's, like, so much more I could do now. Now that I have the Morph Ball. Hey, Sloshicle, how you doing? How's your, how has your last week been? It's been a few days since I streamed. Um, hope you've been doing well. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking I might explore some of these areas first before I go anywhere. Where can I go? I could literally just go over here. Might as well. I'm gonna go to the left. And, uh... <laughs> it's gonna be nice because there's no Emmy in this area at least, which is nice because I already took down the Emmy from last time. Um, but see, now I can actually go places. I can go under here now. Oh, this is cool because this was, I'm pretty sure, one of the tunnels that the Emmy explored through before. None of the songs in this game are memorable to you? Yeah, like, I feel like they went for a more ambient soundtrack than anything. So, I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm honestly down for that. Um, oh, why'd I go that way, actually? You know, I'm not going to go that way just yet. Hold on, I'm going to head this little area to upward I can go. Um, ooh, how did I make that jump? <laughs> um, oh, you can counter those guys? I didn't even realize that. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely it's definitely a, uh, an aesthetic choice, I would say, in terms of not having, like, memorable tunes. I know, Sloshkull, you said you hadn't played any of the other Metroid games, but 
some of the other ones tend to have at least like a couple of memorable tracks, but this one definitely goes for more like ambience, it seems like. Look at that, I got a little tunnel. Woo! I wonder if there's gonna be like, if I like bomb one of the walls there or something, it's gonna be a, a missile expansion or something, but cool. Okay. Let me, no, actually, let me head down here. What a, one thing I was wondering is I know that at some point, interesting, okay. I know at some point you unlock like teleporters, so you essentially fast travel in this game. I don't know, is that essentially, yeah, might as well, ah, nah, I'm not, I'm not full capacity. Like, is that something that, um, don't want to go in there, but what's up here? Anything? Uh, cool. Um, like, what I want to know is, like, um, the, are the save rooms teleport, like, are those what you use to fast travel? Or are there, Slosh Cole, you might know, or are there separate, like, fast travel rooms that you can actually go through? Um, oh. Is that a power-up, or what is that? Let me see what's in here first. Like, is this going to turn into, a like, a fast travel point when I actually activate it, or is this just a save room? That's what I'm wondering. I'm going to guess it's just a save room, because I feel like if I just go back on here, it's not going to let me teleport anywhere, right? Yeah, okay, it's just a save room. That's what I figured. You got a lot more done. You're getting close to finishing, did a whole lot of bosses, and ended up defeating the fifth Emmy. Wow, okay. Yeah, there's seven total, so you've got to be close, but... That's good to know. So it sounds like there are still plenty of other bosses too. So that's actually really good to hear. Um, is that like a double mis uh, missile expansion? That's kind of cool. Let me... What is this? Whoa, wow. There's a missile plus... Oh, missile plus tank. That's awesome. This isn't an upgrade, is it? What the heck is this thing? Oh! Oh, this is the fat... This is the tele... Okay. Okay. There are teleporters you can find that sends you to different areas. This is the, okay, this is a teleporter, cool. Um, not yet. I wanna, let me double check the map first, but cool. Okay, this is a, this is a teleporter. That's awesome. Um, you know what, I do have to go back there anyways. Okay, cool, cool. So there's separate little icons. What do they look like? That's what they look like, okay. This is the first one I've encountered, I think, but good to know. Let me, you know what, let me go back. It's going back to Artaria. Let me, because I want to go back. There were several areas before that I could, um, that I could, uh, use. Now that I have the Morph Ball, I should be able to explore a lot more of those. Okay, a little bit of frame starter there. Whoa. Almost looks like, kind of like a Dark Samus animation right there. That's so cool. So anyways, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. Because I was, I haven't streamed since, like, Wednesday of last week. Let's talk about that Animal Crossing Direct. Um, I originally had no plans of watching it. I mean, I didn't do a live reaction or anything. I, mean, I could have, maybe, because honestly... Let's start, let's start with the free updates first. Oh, the sixth Emmy is definitely the most annoying. Probably have died to 20 plus times. Wow, okay. That's gonna be... Um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge, but I'm also not. Oh, this area. Cool, I couldn't get here before. What's up here? Anything? Energy, okay. What is up here, though? Hmm, what is this thing right here? There's definitely a way to get up the shaft, but what the heck is that red thing right there? Don't think I can use it yet. No, okay. That'll be later. But, um... Yeah, so anyways, the Animal Crossing Direct, like, those... Okay, so first of all... Like, I have not played Animal Crossing since... I haven't played, like, a dedicated amount since, like, August of last year. Um, I was hooked on it. I've never played an Animal Crossing game before New Horizons, so I'll specify that. Um, and I played, I was hooked on it, you know, when it came out, because it was right at the start of the pandemic. They, that delay was perfect for Animal Crossing. Literally, they timed that thing perfectly. Um, so I, I was hooked on it. I know, like, everybody was, too. Um, but I haven't played dedicatedly since, like, August, September last year. I picked it up again for Christmas last year, and then I haven't, literally haven't touched it since. Most everything you wanted got in. Yeah, it like... I was gonna say, it's literally going to get me back into the game. The thing, I'm waiting for the update to drop, and then I want to actually restart my island. I just want to start fresh and new. I want to see if there are any... Like, if any of those updates, you can essentially... I, I, I'm curious to see if it changes the very beginning of the game. I doubt it will, because you have to unlock your basic stuff along the way, but like... I don't know, maybe the gyroids or maybe farming will be on, or introduced early on. That's what I'm not sure about. Um, so I would actually love to see what they do there. Um, I kind of want to get that fresh new experience. I don't... 
I'm not really a fan of the way my island turned out anyways, like the way I did it now. And it's been so long to the point where it's like, you know what, I kind of just want to, um, that was an energy tank part, okay. So it's literally the pieces of heart from Zelda, okay, interesting. Oh cool, I can get up here now. Um, ah! No, go away. But, um, oh, don't like that. Yeah, like, so, so some of the updates like looked really, really good. More Nintendo themed items. Yeah, I know I heard a lot of people because so I have no frame of reference because I really haven't played any other Animal Crossing games, but I know a lot of people wanted um Yeah, like the Zelda themed items specifically I think we're missing from like New Leaf, I I wanna say. Um the only ones they have, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the only ones they have are the Mario themed items, right? So that's kind of it's kind of annoying. It's kinda of lame, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe that they might introduce later, I mean no, because they did say this was the last free update, right? Because I was going to say, what if they just, like, drop, like, Zelda-themed items, like, later on or something? But maybe not. I don't know. That, that's a super missile. That's got to be a super missile. I do not have that. Okay. Uh, good to know. I'll have to remember that for later. That is not a charge beam door. Oh, that thing. Yeah, okay, it's separate. That is 100% the super missile. So I'll get those at some point. Yeah, look at how much more I can explore now. The Morph Ball opens up so much exploration here. You're completely redoing your island, rebuilding it before the update arrives. Good luck. So wait, so are you like restarting new villagers, new everything? Or are you keeping the same island, but just restructuring everything? And yeah, the Mario themed items are the last ones. Last free major update. Okay. So small things can be added. Yeah, they could totally do... Um, like, I don't see... Like, Zelda just makes too much sense. Like, make Zelda themed items. You know what I mean? And add those to the game. The Mario ones did look kind of cool. I'm not going to lie when they showed those off. Um, but, like, the Zelda themed ones, that's just like a, that's kind of a no-brainer. Oh. What? What? Did I just did I just screw something up here? Did I just mess something up completely? I mean, I can't go there. Ah! What the heck? What did I do? I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Hey. What? Oh, okay, I can go that way. Oh, oh. Crap, what did I do? I messed something up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Was I supposed to do this now or no? Am I doing this too early? I might have done this too early. I'm not even sure, but okay. I think I'm good. Oh, the heat's just rising. Okay. You hope so at least? Not. Oh, just rebuilding and such. Not restarting from scratch. Yeah, I was actually thinking about restarting from scratch, but we'll see. Um, oh, shit. Ah! I don't like this. Ah! Oh, they showed this off in the trailer. I remember this. Ah! Ooh, okay, let's get out of here. Come on, Samus, let's go. I don't know if I was supposed to do this this early, but okay, we did it anyways. That is the... Um... That's the, uh, the grapple beam, I think. That's scary looking. Okay, well, I gotta go through here no matter what. I don't really have a choice now. I have a feeling, okay, I have a feeling I know, like, and I was thinking about this, like, before streaming again. I was like, you know, I have a feeling of what boss could be up next. And I'm guessing I might actually be closer than I think, but we'll see. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, I'm good now, actually. Um, I was gonna say I was gonna stock up on items beforehand. Because I, ha I have a feeling, I have an inkling. Can't go that way. Ooh, what we got, though? What we got? More fall bomb? Is this the various suit? Oh, it has to be the various suit because that door was the only way out. Right? Oh yeah, that's the various suit. Ooh, I like the new look. Got the massive shoulder pads as usual. <laughs> I love it. Actually, no, the gravity suit I think has the really big shoulder pads. Nice, there it is. We got the various suit. Okay, that's like the one item so far that like, the order in which I've received it is, like, expected. Like, the usual. Usually about, like, maybe 20% into the game, which I'm guessing I'm around, is, like, when you get the various suit. So. Reduces damage to... Okay. Insulates Samus from extreme heat. Right. Okay, so it also increases defense, too, which is nice. Okay. Does not prevent damage from lava or extreme cold. Okay. Oh, it increases the, the dash melees of damage. That's pretty good. Cool. Ooh, he's got a little kind of fiery animation, too. I love it. But, yeah, anyways, the Animal Crossing updates, like, 
the one I'm really excited for is the cooking and the growing the vegetables. I know that was a lot of these were data mined before Brewster was too. Um, I think gyroids might have been data mined too, like way long ago. But then like for a while, everybody was wondering like, okay, are they actually gonna do this or is this just gonna be like unused content that they had from before? You know. Whereas like now it's like nope, they're actually doing it, so it's really really awesome. Um, actually, now that I have the various suit, I can explore way more in uh. Katara's as well. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so here's the thing. It doesn't protect against lava, right? So I'm not going to be able to go in there, am I? Or I can anyways and just <laughs> deal with the damage. I don't know if there's a... I wonder if there's another suit I can get that protects me against lava. Yeah, there's Samus. Yeah, that was, that was still worth it. Let's get out of there. Cool. Okay. I need the grapple beam for that, so that's a no. Um, I just gotta head back down from where I came before. But yeah, the gyroids looked interesting. Apparently those are different than usual. Like the way that they did them this time. Instead of, um... Can I go down here? Is this going anywhere? Ah, oh, it just leads down here. Okay. Um, apparently they used to be... I'm pretty sure they used to look like... I, I could be completely wrong. Like I said, I have zero... Like, zero reference. I've seen clips of, like, New Leaf and a little bit of some of the other games. I think they used to look more like Lloyd does already. But I, I, they kind of, they're kind of cool now. They look pretty unique now, which is honestly really cool. Um, so I like that a lot. Uh, don't want to do that. But they, they look really cool. I mean, the, the cooking, just the growing crops and cooking just adds so much, I feel like. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm going to spend way too much time, like, cooking all that stuff. Um, oh, that's where this leads. Cool. You know, cooking different dishes and doing all sorts of things. Um, I don't know if they explained if, like, eating the meals you cook adds any specific benefit. Um, oh, rats, wait. Can I seriously not get out of here? Oh. Can I really not get out of here? So I gotta, I have to teleport back. Interesting. Okay, they're really making me do this, huh? Okay. Well, I guess I gotta go back to guitars now. Uh, that's fine, though. Oh, okay. I'm guessing those diamonds are warp points, then. I see. Yep, yeah, let's head back. Um, at least I can explore in Guitarist now more, too. So I don't even know if I'm going to get to the Emmy at this point, the next Emmy, because, like, I might just be spending enough... I'm just going to spend time exploring some of the other areas first. Might as well stock up on, you know, missile expansions, energy expansions, stuff like that. But honestly, yeah, those other... I mean, there's so many updates to talk about just in the free stuff alone. Like, I mean, there is the whole Happy Home Paradise thing, which looks interesting. Um... I wouldn't want to... I probably wouldn't buy it individually for, like, I think they price it at 25 bucks. Um, which, I mean, for me personally, I mean, it, it's cool that it gives Animal Crossing more of an objective. Because I think that's something that people have been missing for a while. I mean, like, in, in the base New Horizons game... I can't even go up there because I need the Morph Ball for that. Right, in the base Horizons game... I might as well save. Um, especially with the Barrier Suit now. I, I'm, I will say I miss the blue the blue and red and white of just the base suit um you are getting the dlc slash goal okay i'm curious so are you paying for it separately or are you gonna get the expansion pass um the expansion pack and get it through that way because honestly like we'll we'll talk about that price of the expansion pack but i actually i've got a group of people like going for um essentially got a got a group of people going to get um the family plan for the expansion pack and like the price will actually kind of work out for us um, is it still good? No, but like, I'm actually probably just going to try it out that way. It's a nice, for me, someone who's going to get back into Animal Crossing a little bit, but also not like super like willing to spend the individual money for the DLC. I think it kind of works out. It's basically Happy Home Designer on the 3DS. And that was your favorite game. Oh yeah, they definitely get it. I mean, to be honest, it looked like it had even more stuff than Happy Home Designer. So like, yeah, for sure. Like if you liked Happy Home Designer, this seems like it's good. Yeah, it seemed like it's going to be similar to that. So like... I think, yeah, I think it'll be a good purchase for you in that regard. Um, but it, it, it is cool that it looks like it's adding, like, actual, like an, like I said, another objective, essentially. After you kind of complete the base game in New Horizons, and it's like, you know, you upgrade all your house, you get all your villages, your island, and you're kind of done. But now you actually have more stuff to do. And, I mean, the cool stuff is you can, you know, the, the cool thing is that you can carry some of those skills that you learn. Like, uh, I think partition walls and stuff like that they said was exclusive. Um, but you can actually, if you learn that from the Happy Home Paradise, you can apply it to your island as well, I believe they said. Um, which is really cool. So, I, I'm definitely, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't buy it outright. 
But uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm getting a group of. Um, oh, I was I didn't attack right away. That was the issue there. I was like, what the heck happened? Um, I'm actually getting a group of at least five people together, and we're gonna split the family plan. So that's I think 16 for each of us, which is still. I mean, I'm paying an individual base plan right now at 20, so that's still. I'm I'm actually saving money that way, but obviously that's not what's really happening. Um, but I think that's what I'm gonna do to try that out. Um, so the NS, yeah, okay. The, the Nintendo Switch Online is overpriced. It is 100% overpriced. Um, I would, unless you're like really, really, that's gotta be on the other side of this wall. I can blow that up. Um, unless you're like really, really, really into N64 games, um, I would not recommend getting an individual plan for sure. Um, oh, 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 oh. That thing only showed... That thing showed up once before, and that was right before the first boss. I think I know what's happening right now. The expansion pass seems the best deal to me. I'm not planning on really ever canceling my... Well, yeah, so Slash Goal, I'm saying, like, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, no, it's time. I know it's about to happen. Um, at least I'm pretty... I'm, like, 90% sure I know it's about to happen. Um, the nice thing is that, I mean, you know, the NSO, the expansion pack is optional, so you don't have to get it if you don't want to. Um, okay, that's just back up there. I want to go down. I know who's about to show up. Is it the boy? Is it the spoily boy? Is it the spoiled man? Where is he? The one that everybody complained about. Where is he? There he is. I can't believe they spoiled this. This was like, it's not a huge spoiler moment, but like... It's fucking Kraid. Like, Kraid is one of the most iconic bosses in Metroid. And they showed it right in the trailer. This was the one thing everybody got pissed about. Uh, I didn't mind it too much, honestly. I still watched the trailer. I was like, you know what? Whatever. We got the boy in here. Okay, so apparently you can actually sequence break this if you get the Morph Ball Bombs ahead of time. Um, I didn't, so I'm not going to bother. Ah! No, I don't want you to attack me. Okay, so I remember how you take him out in Super, but I don't know about ooh, this uh, this version of the game. Because okay, so I'm trying to think, what could I do? Can't counter those. Oh wait, there we go. It is the Super method. Okay, ooh, it is the Super method. I was wondering. I was curious. Open your mouth, boy. Open your mouth, son. Pump them full of missiles. This actually feels kind of similar to the super the super boss. I'm not going to lie. All right, Craig, come on. <laughs> Break out of your chains. Fight like a real man. Let's go. <laughs> you want the DLC day one, but not necessarily getting the new expansion pack for Anisova. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's a tough situation because, like... Right, you want the Happy Home uh, Paradise, sorry, Paradise DLC right away. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure that's what, um... I think it, I think if you have the Morph Ball Bombs here, you can actually, like, use this. Can I get in here with... Oh, no, you can't. Oh, these things, shit, this is literally... Oh, I don't let... Shit, I am not looking good here. I died! No, I died to Creed. Oh, so Zero Suit is in this game, okay. I did not pay attention to my health enough. Um, I kind of figured Kray was about to show up soon. I just thought it was going to be in uh, Kataris, not Asteria. Or Arteria. I keep saying Asteria. I think I'm thinking of, like, Tales of Vesteria or whatever those games. I haven't played any of those games, but I'm getting it mixed up with that, I think. Um, let's try that again. Yeah, but Sloshkull, that's kind of... See, you're kind of in a conundrum there, because, like, you want the DLC. But, like... You can get it for free if you get the expansion pack, but if you don't want the expansion pack right away, that's the tough part. And then the other thing that you got to think about is that if you cancel that NSO expansion pack subscription, um, I believe they clarified that you keep the skills you learn, like the partition walls and the pillars and all that stuff. The stuff that you learn in... Um, they kind of show you how to take them down, actually, right there. Um... You get to keep those skills you learn from Happy Home Paradise, like the, the island you go to, but you don't get to go back to that resort area if you cancel your subscription. I believe that's what they said. Like, I think it was Eurogamer or something mentioned. 
Um, so, like, that's kind of... I mean, like... What do you do there, you know what I mean? Oh, I can't hit his mouth over there. I didn't think I could. Ah! Stop shooting a thing so I can shoot your mouth, buddy. Come on. That, that's a tough angle to hit him at, honestly. Hey, open your mouth. Open your mouth so I can shoot you. Whoa. There we go. Get some hits on him. This, oh, this is so reminiscent of Super. This is very similar to the Super boss fight, but... A little more difficult, I'd say, honestly. Okay. Phase 2, here we go. This is where I gotta not mess up. When he shoots the things... It's so gross. When he shoots the things out of his stomach, like those spike things... He did that in Super as well. Like, that's... It's so nasty looking. Look at... Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> Look at it. But yeah, that's kind of a tough situation to be in. Uh, because I... I mean, I guess that kind of means I'm in a... I'm in a fortunate spot in that regard, because it's like, jeez, okay, I don't like it. Stop it! I don't like this at all. Okay, shoot at the spikes, come on, shoot at, oh, shoot at the spikes, come on, here we go. There we go, that's what I'm waiting for. No, shit. Ah! Ah, those things do so much damage. Those things do so much damage. Wow, okay. I gotta be a little more careful. Crates give me a little bit of crap. Okay. Okay. I I would expect nothing else from the boy. From Crate himself. I can skip the cutscenes, actually, right? Yeah, I can skip these. Let's skip the cutscenes. We know how this plays out. Come on, Crate. In your mouth. In your mouth you go. Okay. How much damage does that do? That's the thing, is like, I think it actually does quite a bit. Damn it, I just completely missed all that there. I mean, luckily though, the, 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 the wide beam is helping a bit with this right here. Come on. Oh, shit. Yeah, I should be paying more attention to this, honestly. Shit. Okay, that's phase one. I gotta really focus for phase two. The, the deal kind of works for me with NSO because, like, at least in my case, I can, like, um, because I, I didn't want to buy the DLC, like, separately anyways. It kind of works out that I could just do, um, oh, shit, I forgot about that. Whoops. Okay, I got to time it right. There we go. Ah, shit. Okay. I had the right idea. That's what, you're, that's what you do in Super. Um, I am out of missiles, aren't I? That's fun. Come on. Whoa! Jeez, man. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Open my mouth! Get in there! Ah! Don't like that. I am not doing so hot, am I? Come on. Shit. I am not doing so well on that spike part right there. I don't know if this is actually, like, depleting his health, too, when I do that. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. The issue is I... I could have counted right there. Damn it, Kraid. This is already, like, a huge spike of difficulty from the second, uh, the first boss, I think. Dang it, Kraid. Honestly, I should have gotten more uh, health upgrades before fighting Kraid here, honestly. That's what I should have done. Then again, I didn't even realize I could fight him here. But... Let's keep going. Time number four. Is this time number four? I think it's time number four. The other issue is... Um... I was also, like, um... spamming too many missiles earlier, so I don't think that helped me in my case, because I definitely... Ooh. Okay, come on. Open the mouth. Open the mouth. It's really hard to hit him at that angle with missiles, honestly. Um, woo! Shit. Come on, open the mouth again. Let's go. Come on, do it again. Ah! There we go. A little better. A little better. A little better. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Phase one done. Let's go. Now that I got the phase two kind of down a little more, it'll, it should be a little easier for me. These guys take a while to uh, take out, though, so that's kind of an issue. Okay, there we go. Come on. 
pump him, fall of him. Woo! Nah, I meant to uh, not stay on for that long there, that's for sure. Ah, shit. Shit, dude, that's not good. Come on, stop it. So it's like if I attack his little gross belly button thing long enough. Ah, oh, shit, I thought I had that countered for sure. Okay, I'm figuring it out, though. I'm figuring it out. Come on. Just don't... I hate these little bouncy ball things. They're really annoying. I mean, they give me health, at least, which is nice, but, like, ooh, shit. I don't like that. I don't think I can... I There's no way I can use those platforms right there. Ah, shit. What am I doing? I could use a little bit of health, please. Please. Thank you. Please. 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 I could use some. Not like that. God. One of these days. Hour and 18 minutes until Sora? Oh, does it, um... It really, oh, yeah, they usually release them at 9, right? That's why I was originally going to stream Sora tonight, but I'm like, I'm not streaming that late. I didn't want to stream, start streaming that late, so I'm going to stream it on uh, Wednesday night instead, actually, um, for Sora and Smash. But, hey, Chase, I hope you enjoy playing as Sora. I'll try it out in a couple days from now. Um, I'll be showing that off streaming a little bit there. But, okay, so now at least... Come on, open them out. Let's pump them full. Shit. Like, this first phase isn't too, too bad. It's just that second phase that just wrecks me. No, I just gotta figure it out. Come on. Pump them full. Pump them full. There we go. First phase done. Okay, it's the second phase that's just absolutely killing. Get the bouncy balls out of here. These balls really don't help things here. Ah, shit! How did I avoid that? Oh my god. I don't even know how I did that. Stop it! Go away. There we go. Come on, Craig. Open your mouth, buddy. Yeah! That's a counter! That's a counter! Missiles! That, there we go. That's how you counter them. That's definitely going to help for sure. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, I could use a little more health here. A little more health would be nice. Uh oh, here we go. Can I morph ball under it? I can. Okay. That's what I'm going to do from now on. It's just morph ball under that attack of those. Ah! Yeah, those things hurt. I know I could probably use a charge beam there, and it would probably be better, but... I don't feel like it. I kind of forget about the charge beam sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. There we go. Don't want to jinx anything just yet, but... Yeah! Get another one in there! Boom! There we go! That's a counter! Yeah! Pump them! Pump them full! Pump them boom! Right in this spot! There we go! That's how we do it! Okay, that was so satisfying. Is that it? Is he done? Come on, Samus. Boom! Oh, look at that. Look at that power move. Oh my god, this is so sick. You know what the worst part about this is? Oh, that's gross. Crate's nasty. Get out of here. You're done. It's funny because, like, he was pretty much sitting in that lava the whole time, yet he dies by falling into it. I don't know how that works. Bye, Crate. I'll miss you. Well, that was Crate. It took me a few tries. Craig gave me some shit. That was actually good. That was really good. That was fun. A good job. I just love pulling off those counters at the right moment. You know what sucks so much, though? Is there anything down here? Like, if I can get to it, not yet. What the heck is that? Those are weird. Yeah, it's logical. That is, Craig gave me some shit there. Like, I did okay with that first boss. Uh, Corpius, I think its name was. Craig gave me some shit. Like, that was definitely... I would say that's probably the toughest Kraid boss in Metroid. I mean, Super... Super is not that difficult. Super is essentially, like, maybe the first phase of that fight, but, like, a little more difficult than that. Ooh, that's another power-up as well. So that was... He gave me some shit. Thanks, Chase. I appreciate the dab, too. <laughs> I appreciate all the congrats. Thank you, everyone. Um, but speaking of that, you know what really sucks? 
about this game, and we actually, this was one of the other things I wanted to bring up. I, I don't think I mentioned it last stream, because, I mean, I don't think we knew about it at the time. Um, Diffusion B. I think this is new. This seems new. I don't think this is a, uh, a previous upgrade. What is this? Oh, interesting. Causes charge beam shots to explode on impact. So it creates like an, and it can penetrate through terrain. Oh, you know what? I saw like a weak point in the wall, like that probably you need the diffusion beam for. Cool. Oh, so like this thing too. Yeah. So it just creates a bigger explosion. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Um, that is, that might be a power bomb. Is that what they're called? Power bombs? I'd, I'd probably take a guess and say that's what that is. Um, cool. Okay, that's... I think the, the Diffusion Beam, I think that's new. But anyways, yeah. So, what really sucks about, like, that awesome animation we just saw... Um, you know, when Samus defeated Crave right there... What really sucks is that, apparently, Mercury Steam has this really just disgusting policy... Where if you don't work at least, if you don't work on a game for at least 25% of its, um, yeah, that's what I was talking about before. I gotta get back over there somehow. Um, I don't think I can get back up there, though. I have to go around, I think. Um, it's just what sucks is that, like, apparently if you don't work at least 25% of, like, a game's, like, total development time, then you're not credited. Your name's not in the credits. So apparently... Oh, another teleporter. Cool. I could definitely use that. Where's it going to bring me, though? Back to guitar. Oh, to Daron. Okay. See, I don't really want to go to Daron. And that was already an area that I've explored, too. I don't really want to go back there. Um, that's a grapple beam door. Okay. Um, so, apparently, for example, so this game apparently took four years to develop. Um, Samus Returns came out in 2017. And I'm guessing that um, they pretty much started development. Ooh, I don't like that guy. Ah, stop it. No. No, no, no. I'm guessing that they pretty much took... Ah! Can I... I don't know if there's going to be an easy way to get up there, actually. Um, but I'm going to guess that they started development pretty much... Because, right, Mercury Steam, same developer as Samus Returns, the uh, Metroid 2 remake. Um, I don't think I can get up there, can I? I think I, I don't think I can get up that way. Let me just let me try a couple more tactics here before I forget. Or before I before I move on. I'm not gonna be able to get up there. No. Okay. I don't think so. Maybe I might need the space jump for that, honestly. I'll come back for that. Oh, so maybe I have to go through the teleporter, huh? Yeah, I guess I have to go, because I don't think I can go back. Okay. I'll go back to the teleporter, and I can always head back that way. Fine, fine, fine. I'll go to Daron now. Probably encounter the Emmy soon, too. Um, but so, for example, apparently the um, the 3Ds, uh, one of the 3D animators who worked on a lot of the cutscenes for this game isn't credited at the end of this game. Which is crazy to me, because some of these cutscenes are really cool looking, but apparently, right, this game was supposed to be four years in development. Um, so, you have to work at least 25% of that to be credited. You have to work on this game for at least a year. So even if you worked on this game for like 11 months... You're not in the credits. Like, that's so shitty. That's so dumb. Apparently, there's been other stories coming out about, like, Mercury Steam, like, mismanagement and stuff like that. And it just... It pains me to hear that because, like... This is such a good game. I don't... No. Samus, no. No. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. Um, like, this is such a good game. And it's just unfortunate when stuff like this comes out about games like this. I mean, it's it's nothing to the extent of, like, the Activision Blizzard shit going on. But it's still, it's just disappointing to hear because it's a really good game. Yeah, it is super lame, Sasuke. You're right. It's, it's awful because these people who spent all this time working on this game, they just don't get credited for it? Like, how does that make any sense? Like, think about all the time. Like, you've seen those, like, those uh, small cutscenes here and there in the game. They're amazing looking. And apparently some of the people who worked on those just didn't get credited. That's so stupid. Like, I f that's ridiculous. I I really want Mercury Steam to fix it. It's like, apparently, so I, I guess apparently um, they, Mercury Steam has been known to not be, like, an amazing, like, place to work at, which just...
pisses me off. I don't think there's any, like, harassment issues going on, like, with, um, you know, with Activision Blizzard, but it's still, like, mismanagement and just, like, overall just not, not great vibes from them, it sounds like, which is just, it's really unfortunate. It really is. How, what's the easiest, from, is there an easy way for me to get up there? Aha, there we go. Cool. I need one more to get another energy tank, which is always good. Samus, thank you. Um, that's just really shitty, you know? I mean, it, it doesn't detract any value from the game, but, like, I mean, to be honest, do I want to see them work on another Metroid again? I'm, if they don't clean up their act, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean, it's a really good game, but it's, like, I don't know. It just sucks that a lot of the people who worked on this game apparently didn't get credited, so... I mean, they could always patch that in, will they? Probably not, but they could always... If Nintendo gives them enough shit, which maybe they will, they could uh, maybe patch that in and be like, hey, add in these people's names. It's not like a, it's not like static text is difficult to add into a game, right? Data. At least I wouldn't imagine it would be. This area, uh, Hi, Adam. It's been a little while. Be a biological research laboratory. Biological research laboratory. One generator in this area. Right. Sector, sector above, above you that still suffers from the blackout. Right. Oh, right. I remember because this was the area that, yeah, didn't have power restored to it. So I essentially got to go back and restore power, I think. Physically. So we're going to find out what what that uh, that Chosen Warrior guy actually did to Samus to get rid of her powers. But primary, yeah. Objective is to survive and take out the enemy. You know, both. Might as well. Um... I've already got a few, uh, few upgrade abilities already in this stream. What did I get, though? Hold on, let me let me check. I got the Diffusion Beam and the Various Suit. Okay, so I got a couple already. Not too bad. Yeah, so I think I just got to go through Daron now, which is fine. Um, although I could go... Mm, I guess my thinking is, should I go back around and get more stuff? Or should I just kind of keep going at this point? Because there's still other stuff. I could go back to Arteria. Screw it. I'll keep going. I'll keep going in Dara. I might as well. I already got some other expansions and... Uh, ooh! What the heck was that thing? Little scary boy right there. Ah, uh, uh, not these things again. These things terrify me. It's literally a Metropolis Zone from Sonic 2. Literally, that's what it is. Also, Sloshical, you gotta come up with the next the name for the next Emmy. Uh, the yellow... I think it's... I think it's the yellow Emmy. Right, I think I encountered it last time. Pretty sure it's the yellow one, so... If you, if you can't come up with a good name, though, I, I got some ideas for names, so... But otherwise, it's on you to come up with a name. Speaking of which, where is our Emmy friend over here? This is where the fun begins. Oh, not with that. Whoa, those guys just blow up? That's not fun. Uh-oh. Rut row raggy Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought I almost countered him right there. Slash if you don't have a good name for him, I can already, I already have an idea for a name. But I was going to let you name it if you would like to. Lightning? Okay, that's a good name. Lightning is a good name. I was actually thinking, I was thinking of Supersonic, which is pretty similar, so I like it. It is our friend Lightning. Well, friend in a, a loose sense of the word, but does seem super fast. I mean, it's... I don't want to spoil things, but I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna get the speed booster from this one, for sure. Ah! Oh! That's what happened. That's stupid. You can activate the Phantom Cloak in Morph Ball mode? That's so good. I love it. Go away. That's actually really good to know you can activate the Phantom Cloak in Morph Ball mode. But I didn't realize those, um... Those things exploded, so that's not going to help things. Um, I got to keep track of that. You called yours Flash? That's... Okay, yeah, you know what? That's a good name for that. That is a good name, Flash, as well. Super fast. Stop it! Damn it. These little things that blow up, they just like to just... You know? Be annoying. They just like to... They alert the Emmy to you, so that's kind of annoying. Don't like that. Okay, where did Lightning go? Lightning McQueen. Not not the exact same color scheme, but it's essentially Lightning McQueen. Alright, where where is Lightning though? 
Where are you going, Lightning? Uh oh. Uh oh. Where are you going, Lightning? Uh oh. No, no, no. Stop following me, Lightning. Come on, dude. Oh, I got lucky there. I just need to kind of book it over here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Okay. It doesn't seem like the wall jump is as good in this as super. Because, like, in super, you could literally scale, like, one wall constantly and, like, completely break the game that way. Um, so not to the same degree, but... Oh, and there's little hatches here, too, I think, that the BME can go through as well. Okay. Let me see what's over here. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought I heard... I thought I heard the Emmy. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. Uh, uh. Do they just, like... Oh, yeah, rats. Okay, you can literally... It can alert the Emmy to your location from within another room, too. That's kind of crazy. Okay. I'm gonna... Save my, uh... Ah, oh, rats. Okay, come on. What? Hey, 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 hey. No, no, use it, use it, use it! God damn it. Oh, yeah! Get out of here! I actually countered it. Shit! Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can't go. Okay, I can't go. <laughs> no! Run, 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 Uh-oh. Gonna go up here, gonna climb up here, gonna go away from you, Bye bye Wow. I don't know how I countered, I don't know how I countered the fast one out of all of them, but I finally got the timing right. Oh. Is that Corpius's dead body? Oh, it flinched, I don't like that. Did Corpius literally, is this what Corpius said? That looks like Corpius, the first boss. That's not scary at all. Somehow made it through there, okay. <laughs> We got one counter. I'll have to keep track. I wonder if the game keeps track for you how many counters you get off of Emmy. I've gotten one counter. That's probably the only one I'm ever going to get. That timing has to be, like, perfect, so. Probably not going to... What is this? Oh, this looks like a Morph Ball Bomb generator. Do I need a Morph Ball Bomb for this? That is definitely a Morph Ball Bomb. Rats. And I can't go anywhere from here, so I can't do this yet. But I'm guessing that's probably the other generator. So I think I'm going to need the Morph Ball Bomb there. So the question is... Is the Morph Ball Bomb somewhere in... And I can't get to the central unit yet either. It's to defeat our friend Lightning over here. We've got through four times. Okay, that's, that's actually really good. I've, I've heard... Uh, from a lot of people is that they only counted them like once or twice in the game. So that's actually really good, Slash Goal. Good job. Because that timing is hard. I think the timing also kind of changes like each time they come after you. So that's actually really, really good. Um, okay, I can't go over here yet because of... I wonder if there was a way I could have gotten that missile expansion over there. Oh, well. I'll do that later. I'll do that once I don't have, to, once I don't have uh, Lightning, our, our Emmy friend, to worry about. Um, there's, a, there's some other areas I could explore, it looks like, though. Um, so I might as well... I've got to get the Morph Ball Bomb before I actually go in here. So let me see exactly... Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, good. You can destroy those things. I was worried at first that you couldn't. <laughs> that would have been an issue. But okay, maybe up here I can find one? Stop it! I'm not going to take the risk and go over there yet. I'm going to see what's in here. Oh, I can't even do anything yet. That is a grapple beam door. Cool. And another morph ball bomb generator. Okay. I definitely need the morph ball bombs, that's for sure. Apparently, there's a secret way you can actually... If you sequence break in this game, you can actually take out Kraid, like, instantly by using the morph ball bombs. Um, I guess I, guess I didn't get the morph ball bombs yet. And I guess you're not really supposed to necessarily, but there's a way... To do it where if you get the morph ball bombs like before encountering Kraid, then you can actually like take Kraid out instantly, which is I find hysterical um, that they even have that as an option. Like I think that's so funny. Um, little details like that are super cool. Like it really feels like I mean, despite what you think of Mercury's team with all the 
not crediting people and stuff, which is really shitty still. Um, nothing will ever make that not shitty. Um, you know, it's just, um... Unless I need a power bomb right there. Uh-oh. Stop it. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out. Ah! I'm gonna get out of here first. I'm not taking the risk. Um, what's even up here, actually? What the heck? There's probably something up to the top left over there. Oh, I can't go in there yet. I gotta go there from here. Somewhere over here, it looks like. Okay. Um, just the little details like that. I mean, yeah, like, whatever you think of Mercury Seam, I mean, their, their practices are kind of shitty, but, like, they know how to make a good Metroid game. Um, I'm already liking this, though, a lot more than, uh, Samus Returns, at least. The, the remake they did on 3DS, which was... Yeah, that was kind of a good, like, proving grounds for them to kind of, um... Can't do anything in here. We're not in a Nemi zone. Um, it was kind of, a, like, a good proving grounds for them to kind of test out with Metroid, but... Um, it was it was still... Samus Returns was still a very good game. Um, but it was just, um... It's still, I mean, it, it, they were held back a lot by the constraints of, um... Of the original Metroid 2, because it's... A very, Metroid 2 is very... It's, it's a very different Metroid game. Um, where you're kind of hunting down... Oh, Total Recharge Station, cool. Did I go? Oh, I did go over here before, right, okay. Um, I think I'm actually good. Oh, I can't even use it because there's no electricity, right? Ah, oh, rats, okay, did not time that right. Right after me, come on. Oh, no, okay. Um, yeah, it, it's an okay game. Honestly, I didn't mind the original Game Boy version too much either, but it's just, it's, it's very, very different. Um... It's just, it, it's, it's, it's really, it's almost vertical in a way. Um, can't go here yet. What are my neighbors upstairs doing? They're making, they're being so loud. I don't think anybody can hear them on the stream, but like, they're, they're being a little loud. They're like banging around up there. I also think they have a dog that like howls a lot and like, it makes me so sad to hear it. Cause it's like, first of all, I want a dog. Second of all, it's like, you know what I mean? It's just so sad to hear. It's like, why are you leaving your dog alone all the time? Like, I swear, like, 30% of the time, you just hear the dog howling. It's so sad. I do want to get my own dog, but I'm still I'm still debating. I'm not 100% sold on the idea. I just got to make sure I can handle that kind of responsibility. I mean, I think I can, especially when I'm working remotely, but it's like, there's still a lot that goes into it. I'd rather get a dog than a cat. I've always been a dog person and just, like, I don't want the cat climbing everywhere. I'm not going to lie. Even though a dog's, from what I can tell, way more difficult to take care of. It's still, you know, I think it'll still be better in the long run. Wow, I was going to say, what's actually over here? Cool. This gives me another way to get down here. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. I'm guessing I'm probably going to encounter the Morph Ball Bomb soon, I would imagine. But this is the other generator, right? Let's restore some power here. Good stuff. Chase, I don't know if you're still watching, but if you want if you want in on that family plan, I already got like five of us planned right now, so if you wanna if you wanna jump in on there, it'd save us even more money. But I would not be doing the the Nintendo Switch online if it wasn't for the family plan, because I don't want to pay an extra 30 bucks for that like $50 like solo deal. That's uh, that's a little much, I'm not gonna lie. Um okay, now that the power's restored. I probably can go back up there, actually. Because there was, um... I couldn't do that missile door before, but I think I can now. Ah! Well, that wasn't very smart of me. <laughs> oh, countered a little too late, but... There we go. Yeah, okay, now that... Yeah, okay. There we go. Is this it already? Oh, yeah, there we go. Morph ball bombs. Nice. They just call them bombs in this game. That's interesting. Very good. I'm getting a lot of upgrades in the stream already. I'm surprised. Right, so the bomb that can be used with a wild and morph ball for him. Samus is down being Smash Brothers, if any of you were curious. Um, yeah, okay, so why is the morph ball bomb? Damage enemies, destroy bomb blocks, expose hidden blocks. Right. That's one nice thing that the bombs have always done in the Metroid games, is that they can um, actually expose hidden blocks. I know there was some reviewer or something who wasn't like too familiar with Metroid, like who was really complaining about the game because, like, he was like, oh, you shouldn't have to shoot in random places to find hidden blocks. And I mean, like, that's fair. But at the same time, it's like, 
I don't know. That's kind of Metroid. I don't know. It's like if you're playing the fifth game in a franchise, you, you kind of expect it to have some of the tropes. I don't know. But then again, I mean, it's still it's not ideal game design, but I guess blame some of the earlier games for that. You'll never play the Sega games in N64 and only play. Yeah. So, oh, here's the other thing, too. A lot of people are saying I have no idea what's true and what's not. Um, Morph Ball launchers. Oh, interesting. With a bomb blast. Maybe that's those must have been those block things I was looking at. Um, the game has so many upgrades. I have 20 now. Really? That many? Jeez. You know exactly how much there are. I mean, that seems like you probably have most of them, I would guess, but that's a lot. Wow. Even for most Metroid games. Yeah, that's a ton. Um, so we got plenty more to go. I like, I like that feeling of constantly upgrading yourself and kind of, it feels like it's a, a good way of progression essentially. Um, but speaking of the Sega game specifically, I mean, like I love Sega. Don't get me wrong. Um, there are a lot of good Genesis games they're adding to the service. However, um, why? That's it. Okay. Um, the thing is, is that there we go. Right, and some blocks can really only be destroyed with more fall bombs. So I was gonna keep that in mind. I know how this game works. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, apparently, so the reason why, um, it's just the morph ball launcher, okay, um, a lot, um, some, like, insiders are saying the reason why it's so much more expensive is because of licensing costs with Sega specifically, and I'm like, it's not worth that much of a price increase just to pay Sega for Genesis games, because Genesis games are so widely available, there's, like, a million collections, especially on Switch, so it really... I don't understand why it's that much more, unless they really plan on adding more like consoles or other stuff down the line, like Game Boy Advance. I kind of doubt they'll do GameCube. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm gonna say right now they're not gonna do GameCube. Uh, maybe Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and maybe other DLC like they're doing with Animal Crossing. We don't know though. That's the thing. We, they didn't lay out a roadmap, so we don't know for sure. We just kind of have to assume that it's all this extra money just for N64, Genesis, and then the Animal Crossing DLC. Um, Sloshkull, in your case, I mean, I would say if you're not that into the idea of, like, N64 games multiplayer or any of that, like, and, I mean, the Genesis games, too, maybe don't get the expansion pass and just buy the Animal Crossing DLC separately, you know? That's always a thing to consider. Um, or, I mean, the other thing is if you have other people you could jump on a family plan with, then, you know, if it works out you have enough people to make the price difference, then maybe that might be worth it, but... They should have just not added Sega games if they were going to increase the price. But yeah, or they should have had multiple tiers where maybe you can pay a little extra to get the Sega games or something like that. You know, <laughs> excuse me, having the options, because here's the other thing for people who aren't interested in Animal Crossing. I mean, for us, it works out right that it's included in the uh, the online for people who aren't interested in Animal Crossing. They might not want to pay an extra 30 or however much money. Maybe if they just want the N64 or Genesis games, what if they don't care about the Animal Crossing? They might see this as too much. So have an option where it's just those games and not the DLC, but maybe there's a higher tier where you get the DLC as well. I don't know. You've not touched a single NES Super Nintendo game. Oh, no. Then, honestly, Slash Gold, don't don't get the expansion pass. I wouldn't. Um, I mean, yeah, at least you're paying for online, so at least you have the SNES and Super Nintendo games if you want. Um, what the heck is that thing? I don't like that. What is that thing down there? I do not like that thing one bit. Um, I think I can go back in here actually and get some more of that stuff. Um, or could I know? Can I not get up there before? I'm trying to remember why I didn't explore that. Does this guy just block the path? Uh, hello, hello. Are you an enemy or what? Oh! Ah! What the heck? Holy crap! Ah, I don't like this guy. Go away. <laughs> I don't like that guy. Oh, what the heck? Okay, yeah, I can go down there. Oh, I see. It was up there. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'll go down here. But what the heck? I'll go down here a bit more. This is where that morph ball launcher was I couldn't see before. But yeah, honestly, I wouldn't, especially, uh-oh. Wait. No, this is... Oh, this was the room I was in before. Okay, okay. Is that Corpius? Or are there multiple... I think it's Corpius. Yeah, I mean, it looks just like it, unless there are multiple of that same species. Woo! No, no, no. No, no, no. 
Ah, rats, okay. I was trying to counter it. I don't know if you can counter it from that far away. Okay, I can get back over there too, it looks like. Cool. I feel like I'm making actually a pretty good uh, amount of progression now. I feel like the first stream that I did, like last week, I feel like it was, I mean, it was decent, but like, I feel like it was a little bit of a slow start. The game really picked up with the second stream, like right around the time of the first boss or right after the first boss is really when this game picked up. So I'm liking it a lot now. Um, probably just buy the new Horizon DLC by itself, not get the NSO expansion pass. That way you save money, right? And you don't have to worry about getting my DLC taken away. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, the nice thing is that you keep those skills you learned in the, uh, like, the resort area of Happy Home Paradise, I believe. Even if you cancel the subscription. But you wouldn't be able to access the resort area again. Which kind of sucks if you were to unsubscribe from the expansion pass. Um, the only way I could see it worth it is if, like, yeah, you're on a family plan with other people. If you were gonna, just going to do an individual plan, like, you don't have that option to join a family plan, then just yeah i if i were you obviously you know do what makes sense for you if i were you though in that case i would skip no stop it i would skip the uh, expansion pass and just buy the dlc separately if you know you're gonna play it um because that is a weird feeling too of like pretty much having this content locked behind not locked but you know what i mean like it's dependent on you still um you know it's dependent on you having that being subscribed to that service so like if you ever wanted to, it's just so, it's a weird feeling. It's like, in a way, it's almost like, um, kind of like the digital thing where it's like, do you really own the game necessarily? Oh, the central unit's already right there. Shit. Okay. I didn't realize. Um, it's kind of a similar thing where it's like, if you, you know what I mean? It's like, it's the sense of ownership. Like, do you really own the DLC in that regard? Because it's like, you're, as you have, you only have it as long as you're subscribed to that service. So I can't even go down there yet. Okay. Not in there. Bye, lightning. Ooh. Look at this environment. I like this a lot. So much for, uh, so much for Daron being the metropolis zone of Metroid. This is kind of cool. Ooh. Scary. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The ma It doesn't feel like the counter's necessary, but it definitely makes the game a lot easier when you master the counter, that's for sure. Ah! Stop it. There we go. I really need- I could really use some of my energy tanks, too. At least one more. Oh, what the- wait. Oh, it's all the way down there. Okay, I got a ways to go before I get to that. I might get to it tonight. I'm only- I'm really only an hour in, because I started streaming a few minutes late. Um, oh! Really? Is this going to lead to the next area already? I couldn't get in there yet. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it does seem like there are other areas I can get to- before taking the shuttle. I guess the question is, should I take the shuttle? I don't know if I want to yet. I think I'd want to explore a little bit Daron first. Maybe see if I can get to this central unit. It might be like last time where there's going to be some upgrade I get early on in the next area. And then I come back here. Can I get over here though? Yeah. Can I get over here yet or no? Actually, I don't even know how I get into that area to be honest. What the heck? I don't know if I can get there. Uh, yeah, you know, maybe I should. At least to see what the next area is. What's after Daron? They're being super loud. It sounds like they're moving something. Sometimes it sounds like Berenia. Okay, let's go. Why not? It's like they're doing construction up above. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't even know. What are they doing? Uh... I finally bought, like, there, I don't know if any of you watching have ever, like, had games that, like, you've been meaning to buy. Like, for me, especially, it's, like, older games that I missed out on growing up um, on, like, previous systems and stuff like that, where it's, like, there's games you've been meaning to play and just never did. Um, I've actually bought a couple of those games recently for myself. Um, last weekend, when I went to, like, an old comic book store with some of my high school friends, um, went out to an old comic book store and... Um, I got there, I got um, one of the only Sonic games I haven't played, which is uh, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, which was the second Sonic Riders game. And that was released on the Wii, and I've heard decent things. Um, I have played Free Riders, and Free Riders is not good. <laughs> but it, it, oh! These are literally like those enemies in Half-Life. With the tongues, except a little different. 
I don't like those guys. They're scary. Ooh, what is this? Can I get there? Oh, I need the speed booster for that for sure. That is a speed booster energy tank right there. Um, maybe I'll get the grapple beam first, though. That'd be cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you doing? Stay in there. No attacking me from there. I don't like those guys. But yeah, Sonic Ride Zero Gravity is one of those games for me that I wanted to check out for a long time, and I just never did. This is random, but they delayed all the Marvel movies again. Oh, Sloshical, I saw that. Yeah, they delayed pretty much... I mean, at least they didn't delay uh, Spider-Man, right? That one's still coming out in theaters Christmas. I think if they delayed that, people would 100% riot. Um, okay, maybe so maybe Bereni is the underwater area. Cool, I like it. Oh, was I supposed to use that guy to get up there? No, I can do this, actually. Cool. Um, yeah, but I saw that. So Doctor Strange, um, Black Panther 2, Thor, Love and Thunder, like pretty much everything. Um, I think except the ones coming out this year are already locked in, I think. Eternals and Spider-Man. I mean, especially Eternals. It's coming out in like a month, right? <laughs> so I would hope they wouldn't delay that. Um, I'm curious what's down there, but I don't know if we'll get to that point. Okay. Now let's see what's in here. Ooh. Uh oh. No, no, no. Go away. Oh. Is that a grapple thing? I think that was a grapple thing. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if you can take those guys out, actually. The Eternals of Spider Man is still good. And the Hawkeye show, right. Um. I actually just watched Black Widow the other night, and it seems like they might potentially tie that into uh, Hawkeye. Um, at least based on the ending, but I don't know for sure. Um, but I'm looking forward to Hawkeye. That should be good, I think. Um, I don't really, to be honest, I don't really know what to expect from Hawkeye, but hopefully it should be good. But yeah, at least everything this year is still safe. You know what I mean? That's still all set, good to go. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it does kind of suck. I wonder, I'm yeah. guessing it was because of COVID that they had to delay everything, but... The lower levels of Berenia are mostly submerged. You will need your gravity Right, so this is the underwater the underwater area, okay. Oh, the gravity suit, okay. Abilities such as the grapple beam or space jump. Will grapple beam and space jump. Underwater to an extent. Right. I mean, I've seen so many areas with the grapple beam already, so I'm, I'm, I guarantee that's going to be one of the next upgrades I get, to be honest. It's going to be the grapple beam. That would be my guess. Because then I can go back and explore a little bit more of uh, Daron. Some of the earlier areas as well. Whoa! What the heck? I don't know. No, 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 no. Do it again. Ah, shit. Do it again. Come on, one time. There we go. I don't like that guy. He just spawns out little smaller dudes. I really need to use the charge beam more often, honestly. I just don't use it enough. What is this? Oh, okay. Ammo. Now, the, this god, the grapple beam's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe once I get the grapple beam, I'll head back to, uh... Oh! Hello, friends. I'll probably head back to, uh, Daron once I get the, the grapple beam. What is this thing, actually? Oh, you know what? Maybe that's the missile thing I was thinking of. Because originally, those doors that you use the Y-beam to destroy, originally, I thought those were gonna be, like, that missile expansion that you use to destroy those but i i maybe that is what that door actually is unless you get another beam that lets you shoot five like beams at once that'd be crazy that would be a little overpowered just maybe but i'm honestly not super hyped about mcu stuff anymore to be honest like i fell off a little bit it's supposed to oh her i didn't even remember what her name was i'm not gonna lie it is supposed to have her okay but you don't know. Yeah, I mean, based on the ending of, I mean, Black Widow, I mean, it just kind of seemed like that'd be something they would do, you know? So. Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. Okay, hold up. Let me see if I can get this right. Go, go, go. Yeah, there we go. Cool. It's kind of cool, because, like... You know, like, even, like, the smallest things, the simplest things, like missile expansions, usually there's a little bit of a puzzle to have to hit in order to be able to acquire them. So, I like when they do that. But this is honestly beautiful. What is this area called again? Berenia. I feel like each one of these, I've never played the Tales of franchise, but I feel like each one of these could be, like, the name of a Tales of game. So, you've got, like, Tales of Berenia, Tales of, maybe not Daron, but... 
Or, you know what? Never mind. Not guitars. You know, just Berenia and Ar Artaria. It's always the E is. I feel like all the games have that kind of name with the E is at the end. That's what it is. I don't know what made me think of that, but I think it's kind of funny. Ah, no. But yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to... Most Honestly, most Marvel movies at this point, I'm probably not going to see like in theaters right away. The only one I'm actually probably going to, if I can, is, I mean, Spider-Man. Just because the premise of Spider-Man, it, it's too exciting for me to not go and see that in theaters. But even then, we'll see. See, oh, don't like that. Ugh, they tricked me. Is that a speed booster thing I need, or am I just going to have to jump over those somehow? Ah! Rats. J ah, rats. I'm probably going to need the speed booster for that, aren't I? Mm. These kind of puzzles in Metroid make me so mad with the invisible floors because it's like I could totally get over there, but I just can't. Go! Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, th I'm probably not going to be able to get it now. Oh, well. I got to wait for the speed booster. Okay, I'll be patient. But going back to uh, what I was talking about with the uh, so, uh, Sonic Rider Zero Gravity, um, that was one of those games I meant to get for a while. I'll play it at some point. I'm not in a rush to play it, but like I just I like the fact that I have it now. Okay, that blocks that off. It's just kind of nice to have. Um, and then the other game that I'm actually gonna I might, I might start playing soon was uh, Jet Set Radio Future. I think I mentioned this on a previous stream. Um, I finally bought Jet Set Radio Future because I actually really liked the original. Um, and I'm gonna check the oh save room. There we go. I'm gonna check that out and play that. But that should be fun. Um, you're excited for the Eternals most? They said it was going to be completely... Oh, really? I feel like... Sloshko, I feel like they say that about every MCU movie. <laughs> it's like it's going to redefine Marvel. Except for maybe Shang-Chi, but like... I heard I heard that was good, actually. I'm, I'll see that at some point when it comes to Disney+, Plus, maybe. Um, you heard it's supposed to be the longest Marvel movie besides Endgame? Really? Interesting. Yeah, I don't... I'm not going to lie. I'm not really interested in Eternals myself, but like... It's it's tough to sell me personally on like brand new concepts for Marvel, except for like the TV shows. Maybe you can get away with it, but like it's the same thing with Shang Chi, where it was like I'm, it's really not interesting enough for me the premise for me to want to go see it in the movie theater, you know. But I'm sure it'll be good. I mean, Marvel movies at least tend to be pretty good, but like especially now that you're mentioning it's gonna be that long, like I don't really know if I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna see it in theaters right away. I mean, if it'll, I'm assuming it'll come to Disney Plus eventually. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it then when it does. Oh, I have an idea of which. Uh, I don't know if it's a boss or a mini boss or what, but I have an idea of which one will show up here. What the? Uh oh! Whoa! 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 That went way farther down than I was expecting. What the heck? Way farther down. Okay. Can I get up from here? Oh yeah! Look at those guys in the background. I don't know if there's going to be bosses, like a mini-boss, or just enemies, or what. Might be a boss, actually. We'll have to find out. And she was amazing. Probably one of your... Really? One of your favorites? I mean, that's... that's I've heard really good things. Um, so definitely one I want to check out eventually. It's just, yeah, I probably won't check it out for a little while, to be honest. I don't know. I'm not in a rush with Marvel anymore. Like, I've been re-watching the Marvel movies. I just watched... I just re-watched Doctor's Black Widow and Doctor Strange this past weekend. But I'm not in a rush to go see the new ones or anything to be honest but that's just me uh, but i mean that's good to hear that it was good you know they're still doing well with those movies i thought i originally heard that like phase four was going to be all about the scroll but it doesn't really seem like they did much with that i don't know maybe they still are but i just i don't really know what's going on with that um okay i gotta go up here up we go. Oh, come. the grapple beam's got to be around somewhere. Come on. Got to be around here somewhere. Have I been up here before? No, actually, that looks a little new. Okay. Hello. No, let's not do that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm I, I'm being a little reckless with... Uh-oh. Oh, that's definitely not ominous at all. Oh, it has an item cube. Is this another boss already? It's another item cube, though. So what? I think I know what's about to happen. Oh, flash shift. Is this, um... 
I think it was that kind of like dodging ability we saw in some of the trailers there. I feel like most people just see new characters and they don't know and Denko. Yeah, that's kind of. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I'm not even a huge Marvel fan to be honest. I don't know a lot of the newer uh, heroes they're introducing, but Phase Four just started, so that's true. When did it? Is Far From Home technically Phase Four? Right, because End Game was like the end of Phase Three, and then I think Far From Home was the start. I, I guess it did kind of start. You're right. We haven't had many since then. You're done with your Marvel spiel? No, no, no. That's fine. That's totally fine. Um. Okay, yeah, I think this is that dodge they were showing. This is a cool looking ability. I wonder what it lets me actually like do. Like, does it let me progress any further in some of the overworlds? I'll have to see. But yeah, I mean, it, it's good to hear that the 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 Marvel movies are still like doing well. I mean, after Endgame, like that they're good movies. Um, but I'm definitely in that boat of people who like aren't super excited because it's brand new. But um, I mean, Marvel's always made like good quality movies so i'm sure that'll be good i'll watch them at some point i'm just not in a rush is, is my whole thing except for spider-man that's like the one thing where i'm like i'll probably see that when it comes out in theaters um okay so a combat aeon ability that allows samus and so this is the second aeon ability i've got okay instantly move forward or backward right probably uses up a lot of aeon energy honestly with full aeon hold a and repair flash shift okay you need oh you need full aeon energy okay hold it and then tilt a direction okay press a while moving oh so you can already be moving and then just press it okay you can use it in midair as well cool up to two additional flashes by holding down a and tilting forward or backward immediately after the first oh so three total okay using a flash shift will consume oh it consumes the full gauge okay Additional flash shifts look good. Right, so it's like you can do up to three total if you do, like, if you hold down A and do the... Okay. So let me, let me try it out for a bit. I just want to test it out. What? Okay, there we go. There's the three. I can also do it in midair. I can also do it in midair. Okay, so you can do up to three total. That's kind of cool. You can just kind of... <laughs> that's so cool. I love this. Samus has never been this, like... Like, not flexible, but, like, mobile in a in a metro. You know what I mean? She's never been this, like... Maneuverable? Is that the right way to say that? You know what I mean? It's just really, really cool. Oh, that's how we get out of there. Cool. And that was the flash shift. Another teleporter. Cool. What is that? Access closed. There's no way for me to get back down there, is there? Part of me kind of wants that missile expansion. That's down there. I think I might be able to get it. But I guess the flash shift will help me with a few things, I think. Ah! Go away. I kind of want to get this missile expansion down here, not gonna lie. It is very tempting. I wonder, can I actually use it, like, in... No, no, no. Oh, no. I can't use it underwater, can I? No, okay, I can't use it underwater. That's kind of annoying. Let me see. When in doubt, just literally bomb the floor. This is literally like my <laughs> my uh, strategy from the original Enneas Metro, just to bomb the floor. Um, there are a lot of instances of that in um the original nes metroid where you're literally just constantly bombing the floor like you think this game's bad with invisible blocks no like the nes metroid is awful with those um okay i don't have the space jumps so that's not gonna help me here i'm honestly wondering if i should go back to daron now that i got this like uh phase shift ability because it's probably a boss or we'll actually take down the other enemy our friend lightning over there he's still chilling over there we gotta take him out I just, I just kind of screwed myself over. I have to go all the way back through here, I think, in order to get back up. Oh, well. I mean, good to know. I I, I thought maybe you could use the ability in uh, underwater, but it looks like you can't, unfortunately. What? Can I even traverse anywhere if I go this way? I wonder if... No, there's no way. I probably need the space jump. Or maybe I need to drain the water in here somehow in order to progress further. 
Oh no, you know what? I'm an idiot. The gravity suit, I'm pretty sure, lets you traverse like normal underwater. At least another, uh, I was about to say Zelda games. What the heck? <laughs> another uh, Metroid games. Can I not go up this way? No, I can't. Okay, cool. Ah! No. Go away. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta head back around here. That's fine. But, I mean, that's definitely going to be useful in some areas, so we'll see. Definitely, I feel like it's more of an evasive maneuver than anything, like a defensive measure, which is still cool. Um, let me save quickly here, but I might just head back to Daron now, honestly. Um, I would like to... If we can take out Lightning in this stream, that would be great. Get another Emmy down. That'll, that would be four Emmy down, then only three left after that. Really wish you could counter those guys. I don't know if you can, though. Or you'd have, you'd have to get up super close in order to do it, if it's possible. I don't know. Go away. Oh, you know what I might be able to do now, actually? Not even the speed booster. Haha, <laughs> hell yeah, let's go. There we go, another energy tank. Don't even need the speed booster. <laughs> Don't even need booster. Nobody wants a booster. I'm looking for Turbo Man doll. I gotta watch that movie again. Christmas this year. If anybody has any good Christmas movie recommendations, let me know. Not that it's, like, Christmas, you know, but I mean, like... Um, oh, I can actually go over here now, cool. I guess I can explore a bit more. Um, I should head back to Daron, though. Ugh, but then again, I'm already exploring so much in this area, it's like... I'll keep going. What? Why the hell not? If I don't take care of that Emmy this stream, oh well. It's not the end of the world. I could use that grapple beam anyways if, it, if I come across it. Um, but that movie that I was referencing there is... Uh, Probably my favorite Christmas movie. It's not. It, it's an okay movie. It's a pretty wholesome movie. It's um. It's called Jingle All the Way. If you've never seen it, with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that is. It's a pretty solid movie. It was funny because like obviously you know he was known for his action movies, but um, later on he did like. Uh, at least in the '90s, I think maybe even the '80s too. He did um a lot of comedy movies. He actually has some pretty funny comedy movies. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Go away! Stop it! There we go. Um, and so that that's kind of one of them. Oh, interesting. It's gonna raise the raise the roof a bit. No, it's gonna raise the uh, the water level a bit here. Is that gonna do anything for me? That might just lower the water in another area. I'm guessing, if I had to guess. But um, it's a pretty solid movie. I like. It. It's very wholesome. Jingle all the way. I was just, I was so sad because, like, we used to have that movie on VHS when I was a kid, and we lost it at some point. I don't remember when, but we lost that movie, and it was just so sad. Oh, I can't even get up there yet. I need the gravity suit. France, okay. Guess I'm not going there. That might have helped with something, though. It looks like I might have lowered the water level up here, at least, which, so, that, that was at least somewhat useful, it looks like. Oh. Maybe not? How do I even get over there? It raised the water level a bit, too, so... Ah, I see. I see what you're doing. Yeah, let's see what's over here now. Oh, what? Am I already just accessing, like, all these other areas? Is this going to take me to the, 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 the next area, too? Where is this going to take me? I don't want to go anywhere. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. We're going back to Daron. Perfect. This is what I want. Um. Why not? What I'm going to do is before I complete this game, I mean, I'm going to go back to all these areas and, like, pretty much, like, go back and, sh if I can, try to 100% and just, I'm not going for, like, fastest time. I, I'm still thinking I want to replay this game um, after I'm done streaming it, just so I can really immerse myself in the experience. Because, you know, I mean, streaming it, trying to talk a little bit, takes it a, a, little, a little bit out of the immersion, at least. Um, I want to go back and do that, but I'll clean up later and try to go for 100%, at least, with all the items and stuff. You had a dream last night that you were in Berenia? Was it, okay, was it a good dream or a bad dream? Because I could see it going either way. Personally, I mean, it seems kind of peaceful. You know, the aquatic environment, so I like that. Um, that's kind of cool, though. Water environments are usually very pretty in Metroid. Um, hopefully it was a good dream. You were a worker at a hydro plant, and there was a secret lab underwater. Oh. That's kind of cool. I mean, that sounds like a cool dream. I hope, like, hope we weren't in danger or anything. So cool. I hope it ended okay. Because you know how, like, sometimes those dreams just, like, take a dark turn and it's just, like, not good, you know? 
Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, there we go. You had to add that last part on there. The Emmy killed all my coworkers. Okay. <laughs> I know. I don't even know what the Emmy looks like in Berenia, so I probably won't find out till at least the next stream. Um, <laughs> you know, you had me there, Sloshical, until that very last point where the Emmy killed all of your coworkers. I am sorry. Wait. Have I been here before? Was this that wasn't the same subway? No, 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 no. That was the subway. This shuttle. Okay. I don't know why I'm calling it a subway. Okay. It sounded peaceful until yeah, you got to that part with you. your coworkers did not survive. I'm sorry that they uh they had, they ended up with a terrible fate. Ah, rats. Okay, those guys are really fast. Ah, shit. I gotta be careful with how I count. Oh, I did not see you coming out that way. There we go. That was a little tough. There you are, friend. Ah! Why did you show up right there, buddy? Come on, go away. Also, we can travel in water? What? You called 911 and they told you to run? But I couldn't because I was underwater. You could hear the Emmy beeping noises. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so you know what? It was nice until the Emmy showed up. Um, that sounds terrifying. Yeah, that's, uh, a little scary. I hope you, I hope you got enough sleep last night. Um, because that sounds absolutely terrifying. Wow, okay. That definitely took a dark turn. Alright, where's he going? He's going up? Okay, we're good. I think. For now. For now, until, you know, our friend Lightning decides to pull some other shit and come back down here. As you can probably tell, I have this game constantly on the brain. I mean, like... I feel like it's that kind of game that sticks with you, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's that's a little scary. Oh! No! No! Go away, please! Don't! Stop following me! Damn it, man. Come on. Okay. Under here we go. That got a little close. Where are you going? Go away. Lightning, go away, dude. Come on. <laughs> they always show up in, like, the most inconvenient of spots. Like, wherever you actually want to be. Um, oh, the central unit actually should be around here soon. Oh, there's a shutter there, so I probably need the, uh... What is this door? It looks like it might be a speed booster door, potentially, but... I can't go that way. Where are you, Lightning? I know you're around here somewhere. Okay, I need to figure out how to get to the shutter, because I definitely need to do that. Where are you? I hear you. Somewhere. Oh, what's in here? I have not been in here yet. This is new. Um, oh, is that shutter just kind of... Oh, you know what? That, I, don't, that's, I thought that was actually going to lead me to the next room, but I lied. Um, yeah, Slashko, maybe take a break from this game if you feel like you need it. Um... I mean, it sounds like you're enjoying it, though, and I know you said this was your first Metroid, so I'm really glad that you're enjoying it and getting immersed in the experience. But, um, definitely, I mean, take a break if you need to. Um, it's just really funny because, um, ooh, that's... My guess is maybe you can destroy these with the speed booster, but I don't know for sure. Um, I would love to have that other part of that energy tank right there. That'd be nice. That'd be great. But I don't think I can right now. Come on, I've got to be close. Oh, yeah. Central unit's right in here, right? Is this it? There we go. Take out another one. Sorry, Lightning. Your days are numbered here. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can do a no-hit run on this one. I'm going to guess no, but we'll see. Pump it full of missiles. Oh. Oh, no. Ah, never mind. I was, I was going for another no-hit run on that one, but nope. Ah! Stop it, mother brain. It seems like they are. these fights are getting progressively more difficult over time. Woo! There we go. Not too bad, though. A couple hits. Bye-bye, Mother Brain. The, the eyeball's still terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, hey, I'm glad. If you're enjoying the game, I'm glad. That's awesome. That's a win. Because, like, Metroid's really never sold well at all. And it's just, like, it's unfortunate. Because, I mean, the best-selling one, I think, was Metroid Prime on the GameCube. I think that almost... I think that it was a little over 2 million. I don't even think it made 3 million. Um, we got the Omega stream again. There we go. Fire! What? Oh. 
I didn't charge it up long enough. I thought I did. Rats. Okay. There we go. Um, I think the issue was I let go of the bumper at the last second. Um, yeah, it's just it's unfortunate because Metroid games are really good. And, like, not even just this game, but a lot of the games. Oh, hello! No, no, no! No! You're so fast! You're too fast! Shit, you're way too fast! Holy crap, I can't even do anything! Come on! Ah! Rats. Ah! Damn it. He's too fast! I need, like, a long, narrow hallway. Oh, you know what? If I use that flash shift, that'll give me a good chance to, like, get some distance on him. Kind of forgot I had that, to be honest. All right, Lightning, come on. Time to get chow your way out of here, buddy. Come on, let's go. Ah, where are you going? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's good, that's good, 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 good. Take out his little armor plating right there. Please, come on, come on, come on. There we go, okay. That's good, that's good. Come on. There we go, that's what I need to do. Come on. Get down here. Shit. He might be behind me. Where is he? No, he's right there. He's right there. Come on. Come on. Bye-bye. Lightning is down. That is enemy number four. Destroyed. May you ka -chow in heaven. Rest in peace. Okay, so this is definitely going to be the speed booster. Is what this has to... I mean, I think it has to be. <laughs> Honestly. Let's see, though. Yeah, speed booster. At least that one was predictable. Like, I still can't get over the fact that the third Emmy, what like gave you the morph ball. I mean, I should have seen it coming because the the fact that it crawled in all the tight spaces and it's like each Emmy seems to kind of have like an indication of you know what um, ability it's gonna give you. Like this one was obvious because of the speed booster it was super fast. Um, oh, and now can I shine spark now? I've never... I think Shine Sparking was an ability... I think they introduced it in Super. That move right there. I'm pretty sure that's a Shine Spark. Um, although I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, I was never too good at it. So I got to figure out if... Hopefully it's a little easier to control in this game. Um, I still can't believe that that third one gave me the Morph Ball. Okay. So I click the left button. They're, they really use a lot of the buttons on here. Huh? I feel like that could be an, that could be an issue for accessibility. But... Um, so you click in the left stick while running to ready the speed booster. Yeah, see, in Super, because obviously the Super Nintendo controllers didn't have nearly as many buttons as the Joy-Con do for the Switch. Um, I think it was just automatically, if you run fast enough, it just automatically activates the speed booster. Whereas this one, you actually click in the, the stick. Okay. You continue running for a certain distance and then it activates. Um, yeah, the blocks and enemies, which is nice. Um... Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So, what you're supposed to do... So, that is the Shine Spark. Okay, you have to tilt it down to stop and store the energy. And, yeah, and then you press B to activate it. Okay. So, you have to get the timing right. So, you have to run and then press down on the left stick to charge it up like they do here in this cutscene. And then release it and tilt it. Okay. So, that seems like it's... It definitely seems like it's easier than in... Um, in Super. So, that's nice. I know it's gonna... Oh, that is a speed booster block. That's what I was wondering. I'm like, you know, that's probably a speed booster block. Let me get that fourth part, because I need that. Woo! Go back. <laughs> that's fun. Okay. There we go. Another part. So that brings me up to four extra energy tanks. Perfect. I don't want another crate situation happening. Um. Oh, it looks like I can do that. Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's fair. Run, Samus. Whee! Okay, cool. Is there anything down here? That's just the way back to Berenia. What am I at? I I still probably am going to stream for another half hour, to be honest. I think I'm just going to try to explore some of these previous areas first. You know, might as well just to collect some items now instead of, like, really making any other progression in Berenia for now. Because I feel like... Have I really only been streaming for an hour and a half? Because I feel like I've made a ton of progress this stream. Which is, I mean, great. That's awesome. Um, I just don't necessarily want the game to end, you know? Ah! Rats. I was trying to see if you could counter that guy, potentially. It looks like you can. There's a little flash. Oh, that is a... Can you speed boost while... You're going to head in about 15? Yo, Slash Skull, no worries at all. Because, yeah, I'm going to be... Um... 
I'm gonna be done with streaming soon anyway, so no worries at all. I always appreciate you're you're a regular here, so I always appreciate you tuning in when you can. Ah! There we go. Oh, okay, you know what? How in the world? How do you take that out with a speed booster? That's bizarre. This is probably also a speed booster block. Like, that's what... It's crazy to me, you know what I mean? Okay, so it, like, deactivates as soon as you do that. See, I can't... I can't get a... Far enough there. That's weird. Hmm. I'll figure that out later. There's probably a missile expansion hidden in there somewhere, to be honest. There we go. See, I still think this might be, like, a... There's some kind of upgrade I can use to destroy those. I kind of like having the multiple upgrades here. I'm not going to lie. Um, what are these green things on the walls here, too? That's just... I think that's... Nah, that's probably just the... Uh, that's just the background. That's aesthetic. Yeah, how in the world? If I were to charge the ability enough somehow there, I mean, I'm sure I'd be able to use a shine spark. That's probably what I'm supposed to do in order to get those missiles is a shine spark right there, but I don't know what the heck that's for. Oh, mmm. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out. I'll do that later. I've heard some of the shine spark puzzles in this game can be pretty, uh, pretty difficult to pull off, so I'm not gonna look forward to that. At least trying to get all of that, but okay, see, this is a shine spark. This is a fairly simple one, I think, so let me... Boom! Up we go! Woo! That's fun. That is a fun one. Um, when you pull it off, it's fun. It's definitely way diff- I remember being way more difficult. I remember having a lot of issue trying to store the charge in Super Metroid. There was one specific area in Super Metroid where, like, the wild- Like, the, there's, there's some, like, alien creatures in there that kind of show you how you're supposed to do it. I just remember having so much trouble trying to do that before. Um, should I even go back to, like, Kataris now? Because, I mean, like, I could. Right? And get some more items and stuff. But, like, what else can I do? What's up here? There's something up there. I'm probably just going to kind of mess around now and just see what other upgrades I can get for now. And not actually really make any story progress yet. I can save that for the next stream. Um, a power bomb too. Won't be able to get that yet, though, but... Oh, wow. That is a... Oh, cool. I can speed boost here. Oh, Out we go. Really fun to pull off, but it can be very difficult, too, for sure. Um, what is that? Oh, is that also a speed booster block? Interesting. Okay. I could explore some of that, actually. Let's go for it. Because it's like, the more items I collect now, it's like, the better off I'm going to be later. You know what I mean? Because then I'll just be like, more prepared for other boss fights and stuff like that, so. Whoa, rats, I did not do that right. Oh, because I need this guy. I, I was too high up. Okay. Try it again. Woo, there we go. Cool, okay. Ah, is that a grapple beam right there? Rats. I do not have the grapple beam yet. I don't know where I'd get that, to be honest. Oh, it's an elevator, so that goes farther up. Okay, but I'm going to need the grapple beam to get there first. I figured I would have gotten the grapple beam already, but I guess not. Oh, so interesting story. So, um... I could bring this up now that it's on my mind, but, um... I was fixing, so I, I, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. I was actually fixing my... I noticed earlier today, I was doing Ring Fit Adventure like a couple hours before streaming, and I noticed that, because um, last time I mentioned I fixed my left Joy-Con thumbstick, um, I also had to fix my right Joy-Con thumbstick today because it was drifting bad, like really, really bad. Um, so I did the paper trick, however... Um, I mentioned on previous streams, right, that this left Joy-Con, I mean, it might be difficult to see because I have the lights off, but... Um, normally, right, on the side here, you got the lights that tell you, like, you know, what player it's connected to. 
I previously mentioned this, the lights on this one weren't working anymore, and I wasn't sure why. Um, but this is still working. You can see I'm controlling it. It's it's working still. Same exact thing is happening to the, the right one now. After I opened it up, put the piece of paper underneath the thumbstick and closed it back up. I think it's something to do with the ribbon cables. Like, I think they need to be oriented a certain way. And I think because the way I put it back together, it's not displaying the lights. That's what I was noticing, but I don't know for sure. Um... There's still a lot I gotta figure out with that. Oh, that is a shine spark. Ooh, that's an easy shine spark. I get a missile tank right there. Right there. Are there anywhere else I can go now? Probably can get that power bomb. Any other speed booster stuff over here? What is this? It's a bomb block, okay. Why did I not get that before? Yeah, you know, maybe I will head back to Katara's from here. Let me grab this missile expansion and then just kind of head back. I'm, I'm already headed in that direction anyways. Whee! That was fun. I like doing that. I took out that already, right? Yeah, those were the speed booster blocks there. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. I gotta figure that out. I probably what I need to do is just take them apart and readjust them to make the lights go back on. I don't really know. It, like they're working perfectly fine. It's just the lights aren't displaying. So I really should. I probably should be more careful putting it back together. Honestly, um, I'll take some more energy. Yeah, why not? Oh, you know what? I might need to start charging it up because this is yeah well no it's not gonna be enough oh there we go i can do that i can just store it and charge it up there cool cool there we go that was a pretty easy shine spark puzzle fairly simple i mean if you can't fully get the um the technique off though it can be difficult oh wait 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 but now i can access the teleporter oh let me just go where does the spring man Oh, all the way back to our... T See, this is interesting because... Yeah, I'll head back. Why not? Let's go. Let's go. Um, It's interesting because... You're going to go for now? Hey, no worries. Sloshkel, like I say every time, thank you. You're a regular. Thank you for tuning in. And yeah, I'll be streaming again Wednesday night with... uh, For once, Wednesday night with Sora and Smash. Thursday night will be Metro Dread again. So hey, see you then. Take care in the meantime. Have a damn good night. You know, everybody deserves a good night. I'm going to have a good night after this. I started uh, <laughs> drinking uh, tea recently. And by recently, I mean like this past weekend. Um, and it's like... I, I really like hot tea. Because I've always been like more of a cold drink person. All right, this was this was just Arnold Palmer iced tea in here. Um, which, you know, I love. Not great for you, but I love it. Um, you know, but... Um, I figure, you know, hot tea actually, like, it, it has some good, uh, some good benefits for you in terms, of, like, the specific types of, um, oh, cool, that's where that is. Um, like, the different, um, what am I trying to say? Like, uh, some of the, like, the benefits it gives you in terms of nutrition and stuff like that. Um, and, like, herbs and stuff in this case. And some of them are actually super relaxing. So, like, my parents, um, they went, I mentioned a previous stream, they went away for the weekend. Um, that's why I actually had to stream last Wednesday instead of Thursday for Dread because, um, Oh, nice speed booster here. Um, I had to watch their dog for the weekend there. Whee! No, okay. Oh, that's a shine spark for sure. Um, I gotta fix that. But yeah, I was watching their dog for the weekend, so I had to stream then. But they actually, when they went, they went away for their anniversary. It was like kind of like a nice, relaxing weekend for them. Um, and so, I think they enjoyed it. They said they enjoyed it, so that was good. Up here, woo! There we go. Um, oh, just a save room? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But, um, yeah, so they, they got me some tea while they're up there. Because, like, I, I told my dad, I was like, so he actually makes his own tea. Like, he, like, mixes different kinds of herbs and stuff like that. Um, and he was like, yeah, feel free to try some if you want. And I, I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't anything, like, fruity. I tend to like the fruitier ones more, like that kind of stuff. Um, what time am I on now? Okay. I'll end in, like, maybe ten minutes. I can still go on for, like, you know, the, uh, the two hours. But I can, I totally can use the grapple beam, can't I? To, like, get to that other spider magnet thing there. Oh, maybe I'm gonna get the grapple beam here. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Oh, yeah. That is, I think I'm close to the grapple beam. I think I'm close. Just might be. Should I farm missiles and health here? I actually don't need any. I'm good. Um, this could be a boss. That would be crazy if this was a... Oh. 
Oh, or no, it's just a grapple beam. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. That's good. <laughs> I've gotten like five upgrades already this stream. They're really just handing them out now. Or I'm just making super good progress. Honestly, now, like, like I was saying before, like the first stream, like it, it was started off a little slow because you didn't have any abilities and stuff. But like, especially this stream, like this is so much fun. This is legitimately so much fun. Easily. My game of the year already. I can already tell. Um, then again, I didn't play many games from this year. I played, what, Monster Hunter Rise, Skyward Sword HD, if you count that, and then this. <laughs> I think those are the only three games from that came out this year that I've played. Monster Hunter Rise was fun, but no, this is easily. I mean, as soon as they announced it, I kind of knew it was going to be game of the year, but, like, this game is really hitting me now, like, clicking with me. Just how good the flow of the gameplay, the pacing, it's, oh, it's so good. And you constantly feel like you're upgrading. Like, I've gotten five upgrades this stream. It constantly feels like you're getting upgrades, and it's such a good feeling. Sorry, I'm, like, gushing over this, but this is so good. It's not just because it's Samus. Not just because it's Samus. It's because it's actually a really good game. Uh, this might be my favorite 2D Metroid. I, I got to go back and replay this after after I'm done streaming. Okay, so, yeah, fires are raw. Okay, so ZR, yeah, they're really making use of all these buttons here. And press Y to fire after latching on. Tilt uh, left stick in the opposite direction to pull. Okay. In the opposite direction. Gotcha. And you can swing back and forth. And okay, yeah, I was right. The magnetic surface will be pulled towards it. Cool, that's what I was thinking. This game just, it just makes sense. Everything you think that's going to work, it's going to work. It's just, oh, the versatility is so good. So how do I fire it again? Y, okay, and then I pull back. Gotcha. Coolio. Cool. Okay. Well, yeah, I've made a ton of freaking progress here, but now I can I can free aim and then swing across. Ah! I let go a little early. I gotta remember not to do that when I'm actually you know like maybe in a dangerous situation. Otherwise, it's gonna screw me over. Oh, it's so good. I love it. I feel like I'm making so much progress here. This is so nice. I will say I think I was trying to mention this before. What the heck is this? Oh. So now the elevator! Okay, cool. Yeah, sure, let's go up the elevator, why not? Where's this gonna go? Oh! Oh, back to Daron. Okay, sure, why not? I probably could be spending more time exploring stuff in this game, but like, like I was literally just about to say, the game isn't linear, but it almost is. Because they're like, even like, I've said like at least a few different times during this stream alone where it's like, oh, I'm going to head back to previous area to go get more stuff. However, there ends up, I end up unlocking another way to go back there just by progressing more. So it, the game is really pushing you in a certain direction. But like, it's nice because that kind of reduces backtracking like a lot. This game is so good. This personally... This might actually be better than Super. I actually, I mean, Super, I enjoyed Super. Um, I also really liked Fusion, even though that game is actually very linear. Um, this game feels like, uh, no pun intended, Fusion of Metroid Fusion and Super, and it just, like, gets everything right. While also doing so much more, like, just the Emmy alone are just so... Just those... Oh, it's so good. Ex exploration's great. It's just, it's all great. Okay, so I'm all the way back here now. Oh, but now I can go to that elevator to go to the next area. Ho, ho, ho. I see what you're doing, game. I see what you're doing. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, What time am I at? Nine o'clock. Yeah, so you know what? I'm going to have to come back here and clean up all this stuff in order to get other abilities and stuff, too. I know I'm going to have to. Um... I will come back here at a later point, though. I've done so much exploration in this game. Jeez. Um, I might as well just go in that elevator. Where else can I go? I mean, there's some grapple blocks here and there, but I kind of wish you could almost, like, filter. Because there's so many things on the map. I almost wish you could filter, like, the map by specific things. So, for example, grapple block. I can search grapple block, and I'll scroll through all the different potential grapple blocks in this area on the map. You know what I mean? Because it, otherwise, I kind of have to look for everything and i mean like i guess that's kind of the point it adds to it but it's just i am spending a lot a lot of time just looking on the map i will say um oh interesting okay hmm 
You know, it would be nice to get that enemy chain. How far am I? How far away am I? I could try to get that energy tank. I'm just wondering how I would do it. Are those destroyed? Doesn't look like they are. Let me try to get that energy tank. Oh, I gotta go up. Okay. Before going in that elevator. Because what I'm guessing is I'll go into that elevator and eventually get to a save point in the next area. And that's when I'll call the stream there, I think, is what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Yeah, so I gotta head down a little bit. Ah! Ah! Yeah, this way. I'm going the right way. We're good. I am checking the map a lot, like I was saying before in this game, just to, like, make sure I'm actually going the right way. That's probably, like, the... I mean, that's kind of like every Metroid game, though. It's just how it kind of works. Um... It's not the... Oh, nice. It's right there. Perfect. Okay, I'm glad I grabbed that, actually. That didn't take long at all. Um... Every Metroid game's kind of like that, so it's like, what are you gonna do? But... Nice. How am I looking? I'm looking really good on energy right now. That's awesome. Um... 57 missiles. That's solid. Um... I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot, honestly. I'm feeling good. Feeling good, feeling fine on a Saturday night. Where am I going? Oh, over, over to the right more. Back over here. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Why do you do this to me, game? I gotta go up now. Oh, well. Ah, okay, okay. I wanna see if I can counter these guys. No, I don't think I can. All right, try to. Ah, didn't work, I don't know. That, oh. <laughs> you need a power bomb in order to get to the power bomb expansion. Okay. I mean, yeah, I gotta unlock the ability first. It makes sense. It makes sense. I would just want it to cheat the game. Yeah, okay. I'm just going up here. I'm gonna go up the elevator and get to... That's gotta be just the straight up the next area. Yeah, it's in this door. Okay. I got so many abilities, but now that I have the grapple beam, I can actually do this. Um... I got so many abilities in the stream. Holy crap. I'm just surprised. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, Sloshkull's got to be right. I know he had to leave, but he's got to be right in that you just, there's so many in this game. What is this? Ferenia. <laughs> there you go. There's another Tales game right there. Ferenia. I mean, what, what, what theme is this planet going to be? I'm going to guess ice. I wonder if there is an ice planet. Some of the ice environments in, uh, the eShop crash chase? That's so funny. But you got the update before it went down. Nicely done. Um, I'm not even going to try tonight, Chase. I'm just going to get it. Because like I was saying, I was going to stream Wednesday night with Sora and Smash. I'm not even going to try. I don't even care to try right now. I, I'm not surprised it crashed. This thing always happens with the big characters. But you got it before it went down. So that's actually hype. Pie themed? <laughs> chase, this isn't pie themed. Is that is that what I said? I said ice theme. That's what I was going for, not pie theme. Maybe it is pie. Hey, a pie themed area would be awesome, actually. Um, ooh, no, it's just kind of like this is giving me like Age of Calamity vibes. This is cool. It's like a, the, the royal hallway or something. <laughs> this is where Samus finds out she's actually Chozo royalty, right? Good stuff. Also, Chase, you shouldn't be watching this. You should be buying the game. And playing it. That's what you should be doing. Because <laughs> I don't want to spoil you. I want i want you to buy this game. Walmart has a deal where you can buy new Switch games for $50 physically in store. So you can do that. And buy the game. And don't spoil yourself here. That's, that's what I want you to do, okay? So do yourself a favor and stop watching the stream and, and buy the game instead. Oh. How in the world... I might be able to shine spark up there, but it's going to be tight. Ah! Or a good space jump would take care of that. No, I can't. There's no way I can shine spark here. Ah! Stop it, you weird spiky dude. Ah! Okay. No. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was like, why am I shooting missiles? No, it's because I had the thing held down. Okay. Um... You know, now that I think about it, I didn't even encounter the Emmy and Berenia. I wonder if I was supposed to. Hey, Chase, if you want to stick around, it's okay. It's okay. You can stick around. <laughs> I just want you to play this game. <laughs> I don't want to spoil you on this game. I want you to play it and buy it and experience it for yourself. 
Alright, what Emmy's gonna be in here, I wonder. So many of these sentry droids here, I don't like that. I'm gonna come up with a name for this one in Ferenia. There might be one in Berenia as well, but... Um, I guess technically Alejandro is gonna be up for that one, so we'll see. What the heck is that? Is that a grapple? Oh, no, that's the sentry droids. Okay, I was wondering what the heck that was. Bye, Chase! Uh-oh. Oh, what the... Oh, oh! This part. Yeah, Chase, stop watching. Don't watch anymore. This is spoiler. This is like spoilers. I'm gonna cover the screen for you so you can't see. That's how that works. <laughs> the Chozo shit. Uh oh. What the? Wait, so did. That is PDSD if I've ever seen it. What the? Is there some. Because the Chozo Warrior at the beginning of the game. Did something to- Oh, shit! Purple boy! Oh, no! Whoa, whoa, what? Yeah, Chase, you need to- You literally need to stop watching if you're- If you're, uh, if you're watching it. You literally need to stop. Holy shit, what? So this guy isn't the Chozo Warrior? She's like, fuck you, I don't trust a goddamn thing. Okay. What in the world? I am Quiet Rogue, a scientist of the, the Toa tribe. Ravenbeak, that was the, the warrior. I know Samus Returns had some of this stuff in it, but physical prowess intelligence... The leader of the Chozo warrior tribe called the Mokin. This is so cool. And they, oh my god, this game is so good. And yeah, Samus returns with all the Metroids. Managed to contain the Metroids that were running rampant on SR388. Yep, Metroid 2, the planet from that. Oh, the lore, dude. Attention was to eradicate these Metroids, which have become more dangerous. Yep. They originally created them, though, to take out the X-Parasite, right? I'm pretty sure that's still the original lore, but then obviously Metroids became parasites themselves. Ravenbeak took extreme measures. Right. In his eyes, the Metroids were symbolic of a power great enough to rule the galaxy. Right. Ravenbeak plotted to bring the Metroids to ZDR and use them as a bioweapon. I mean, they kind of already were used as bioweapons by the space pirates, weren't they? The Toa tribe were... Oh, they can control the Metroids? Interesting. He's the only one left. Ravenbeak and the Mocking tribe took me back to their homeworld, ZDR. I thought we're on... Aren't we on ZDR, though? In order to continue the preparation for gathering Metroids. So, ZDR is the homeworld of the Mokken tribe. And Ravenbeak, who leads them. However, they ran into unforeseen difficulties and were forced to put their plans on hold. They literally created the Chozo language, but this is so good. One of the soldiers who returned from SR-38 was actually an X in disguise. Wait, an X parasite Wait, wait, wait. So they are real? Wait. Yeah, all the soldiers were- wait. Oh, sorry, sorry. I knew they were real, but they, they're still alive? That footage was real? Okay, and so... From SR388, the ex-parasite came to... Right, this is Samus Returns. He then turned his thoughts to resuming his plan. The Queen Metroid, right? Right, and <laughs> Samus took them all out, right. Well, not all of them, because of the baby, but... With the Metroids now extinct... Raven's Beak's plan should have laid in ruin. Oh, because the Metroids are the predators of the X-Parasite, because they're all extinct. Okay. Ravenbeak's controlling the Emmys. 
But that looked like that he was controlling that purple one, because he stopped the purple one from attacking Samus. Oh! He wants to bring back the Metroids by extracting the DNA that she has in her body. Is that Samus? She speaks Chozo? I mean, it makes sense. She was raised by Chozo. This is... Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, wait, is this how Ravenbeak was controlling the Emmy with this system? Oh, this is so cool, dude. Oh, in that previous area I was in, now it's open. Nice. Don't worry, quiet room. What the fuck? Are you fucking for real, dude? No, what the shit? Get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. Fuck you, man. Quiet Rope did nothing to you. Ah! Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Stop it! Pa come on, attack me again. No, like, melee attack me again. Come on, you know you want to. Damn it, man. Shit! Ah, oh, I did this so many times. What the fuck, dude? Oh, what did I unplug this time? Oh, it's the power cable again. Give me a second. Audio's gonna be fucked up again. This happened during Skyward Sword. God. <laughs> so much happened and I wasn't ready. I was- we just met- He's a lot floater than you'd expect. Chase, stop watching! This is spoilers, stop it! What are you doing, man? You gotta buy the game yourself and then play this. You can't watch this. You're cheating. Oh, man. Also, yeah, sorry. The audio is about to be... F well, actually, no. I watched the VOD of that Skyward Sword stream earlier. You should be fine, but for me, it's kind of shitty. Um, wait, what? Oh, I gotta, I gotta go through that cutscene again, don't I? Okay. Oh, man. Should I do it now? I gotta do it now. I gotta take out that stupid robot. I gotta do it. You, you dingus. Come on, actually, like, no, dude, freaking melee attack me. No, stop doing your stupid blasts. Oh, that's what I wanted, yeah. Ah! Come on, do it again. No, do it again. Come on, here we go. Come on. Stop doing. Ah, oh, I hate that movie does right there. It does so much damage, too. Ah, shit. That was my bad. That was my bad. I was not ready for that. Come on, dude. No! Oh, my God. How do you avoid that move? I don't like that. Ah, oh, fuck me. That's tough. I gotta get this done. I gotta do this before the end of the stream. I'm not finishing the stream until this finishes. I don't care. I'm going over two hours. I don't care. I will play more Metroid Dread. Chase, you better be. You better not be watching anymore, Chase. I swear. Chase, if you're still here, you're not allowed. You're not invited to the Halloween party. Just saying. How do you- oh, oh, you know what? I gotta use the phase shift more. That would definitely help. Ah, there we go. Okay, phase shift. There we go. That- ah, That helps. Whoa! Slow down, Maurice! Ah! There we go. There we go. Pump him. Oh, is that it? No, he's close. He's close, though. Ah, shit! Ah! ah. God damn it, man. This guy's tough. I'm not doing too hot, am I? Ah! Fuck me. I gotta face you faster, dude. <laughs> Chase, I know you're here. You're just not in the chat. I know you're here. You're just not saying anything in the chat. You're not allowed to be here. <laughs> just buy the game and play it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> but, I mean, I appreciate you tuning in for sure. Go play with Sora, too. Why not go play with Sora? You got Sora. Ah! Okay, I was not ready for that. This guy's tough. I gotta beat this guy, though, before the end. Oh, my God. Let's not do that. Ah! Stop it! Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. I gotta do it early enough. This, the issue is I wasn't doing that move early enough. Ah! There. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's so tough to time that one, you know? Fuck, that was my bad. I ran into that. There we go. Ah! 
Ah, God, that one movie does right there is just so annoying. You know? Ah, jeez, I'm trying to phase shift over him for that, and it's just not doing a goddamn thing. Ah! Okay, he's finally dead. That got close. I can't believe that idiot. Ugh, oh, he just killed Quiet Robe. That was the last, like, good Chozo, right? The last of the Toa tribe? He looks kind of flat, though. Why? <laughs> That's weird looking. Oh my god. Like, what the actual fuck? I am mad. I was like, I was like, Quiet Robe, I'm gonna do this just for you. And he just fucking dies. <laughs> At least they didn't spoil that in the trailers. <laughs> you know, that would have been bad. Oh, man. Like, come on, dude. Okay. I'm gonna find the next save room, and then, um... And then, uh, finish up there. What? Can I actually, uh... Well, let me... Ah, I gotta, like, do it at the right time. I know. There we go. Perfect. Can I get down there? Okay, seriously, what are my what are my neighbors doing upstairs? I literally don't even know. Oh. No, the elevator, cool. Okay. I just wanna save and quit now, please. What is in here? Oh, too cold, too cold, too cold, too cold. <laughs> too cold. Okay. Yeah, we're heading back down here. I just don't know how to get that missile expansion, honestly. Unless I can go in here, maybe? Oh, yeah, there we go. There's stuff. Ah! Of course you did that. Of course you did that. Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? Haha, -ha, I gotta love it. Ugh, those fake blocks, man. I swear. They'll just get you. Oh, there we go. Can I do that? Oh, I need the speed booster. Of course I do. How in the world are you supposed to get that? Actually. How are you supposed to get that shine spark right there? Okay. Oh, I have an idea. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, I have an idea. Okay, there we go. Now, now, hear me out, right? Ready? Ah, oh, rats. It runs out like immediately. I want to try to do this. I know I'm going a little over. I don't care. I'm going to try to do this. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, I got to open the door. Right. Uh, how? Oh, you know what? Okay. I have an idea. I know what I'm supposed to do. Hold up. I'm going to see if I can get it in time, though. What? Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted to do. Yep, yep. Come on! Oh, that's it! That's it! Uh, okay. I want to try this. Come on. I want to get off this like really good shine spark right here. I have, I have a feeling I can do it, you know? Come on! Oh, jeez, that's it right there! I gotta just, like, get out in time. They don't give you a lot of time at all. What? I think I shut the door too late. Ah, uh, come on, Samus. I believe in you. Son of a... I keep doing it again. There we go. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. go. Samus, please. Ah! Uh, God, it's so... Mm. I'll give it a few more tries. I just want to get it. Because I know I can if I try hard enough. It's just going to be so close. Come on, please, Samus. Please, please, Samus. Please. Go! Oh, my God. It's because I get in the fucking morph ball mode. Maybe I shouldn't be doing morph ball there. Maybe it's a faster way to take it out that way. You know? Well, I already fucked that up. Jesus, man. Unless... Hold up. No, okay. I was hoping that at the side of the wall had the... Um... You know, the speed booster blocks as well. But I guess not. Okay, come on, please. No! Oh, that wastes so much time right there. Go! Oh my, that was it! That was it! Ugh. Okay, give me like one more try. 
Otherwise, I'm gonna say fuck it and not even bother. So I know I can get it. I'm so close. Stop! Oh my. Screw you. I'm done. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Oh my god. Like, what the fuck? I was so close. Back to Daron? Okay. I think I gotta go to Perennia now. So am I not... That purple Emmy. So Quiet Robe stopped it somehow. Like, he had control over that one. But, like... I'm sure it's gonna come online at some point. I mean, it was almost like Quiet Robe was able to control that one for a bit and, like, save Samus, obviously, in that area. But, like... Now that he's dead, I mean, Raven Beast is gonna get control of it again. I cannot get over how good this game is. This game is so good. Um, okay, hi, yes. Um, can I get a save room, potentially? Oh, perfect, Adam. Okay, and it's gonna let me save. Cool. Alright, Adam, give me the lowdown, but I'll, I'll uh, catch up with you on the next stream. How about that, okay? Uh, I'm mad about that speed booster puzzle. I'll get it later. Yeah. Right. Raven Beak Lurder here. He yeah. That yep, he wants to bring back the Metroids with that Metroid DNA. Oh! No. There's no way. No. They're gonna come back online. I know for a fact. Berenia. Right, okay. Which was, what, the fourth area, I think? They're 100% gonna come back online. There's no doubt about it. Okay. But that was... That just saved me there, right? Yeah, that was a save point. So, with that, I'm going to end off the stream. Items 25% and Daron. Not bad, actually. That's not too bad at all. Um, with that, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to end it off just because... Um, we're going a little over two hours now, actually. Um, we are good now. Let me check the time and the item completion now. 70% total still. 341. Okay. I definitely... This is the most progress I've made in any stream yet. So, that was actually... That was so good. This game is so good. I'm in love with this game. I love it so much. Let me turn on a uh, let me turn on the lamp first. But thank you for watching, all of you who did. I know Slash Cole's here for quite a while. He's always here. He's he's a bro. He's chilling. Um, always supporting the streams. Um, and Chase, I, I thank you for popping in. I hope you're not here still because I want you to buy this game for yourself. You can buy it for fifty dollars at Walmart physical if you go in store and you can get it. That's what I did for this. Um, and just play for yourself because it's a really good game, but I don't want to I don't want to spoil people who aren't or haven't played the game. I'm taking a while to complete it because I'm only streaming the twice a week. This is only I'm not even according to the gameplay time, I'm not even four hours in. I've got a little ways to go. So if you if you're not playing the game now, I don't want to spoil you. That was a massive story spoiler, and now we know why the Emmy are chasing Samus. It all works. I mean, I figured that she was lured in there and it was all fake, but I wonder. Part of me wonders if that X Parasite's still alive because they have the footage there. And so they were on ZDR at some point, or there was at least that one X on CD, uh, ZDR, is what uh, Quiet Rob was saying. But wow, that just, that lore dump, just like, no, I shouldn't say dump because it was actually really good. Um, made it really, really good. But, anyways, I should end the stream off because I'm a little, uh, a little over already. Um, my plan is I'm actually going to be streaming three times this week just because uh, Sora, actually, Sora's in Smash right now. Um, I don't want to stream it tonight because, I mean, he literally just came out. And like Chase was saying earlier, I mean, the, the eShop was just down. So there's no way I was going to be able to get him tonight. Um, I'm going to be streaming that Wednesday night starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And then I'll be back with more Metroid Dread Thursday night starting at the usual 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so no stream tomorrow night, but Wednesday and Thursday I'll be streaming at the usual time. Um, then again, thank you so much, as I always say, for watching, supporting. Let it just You're supporting by watching and just... Whether you interact or not, like, just literally any second of views is supportive. Not that I'm making money off it. I don't want to be making money off this right now. It's not my job. I appreciate the views. It always just makes me happy to see that people, some people are watching and hopefully enjoying it. Hopefully you're, hopefully you're not watching and be like, wow, this guy's super cringe. If you are, I understand. Um, but, you know what I mean? If you're actually enjoying it, I, I, that's great. That's awesome. But anyways, thank you all so much again for watching. I will see you all. On Wednesday night for some Sora and Smash Brothers. That'll be fun. The last DLC character. And be able to show that off for a bit and have some fun with that. So until then, enjoy the rest of your week in the meantime. Take care.